Picking up where we left off. Defense against the Dark Arts classroom. <clears throat> Our first Defense Against the Dark Arts class. Hold on, I need to go get my drink.
Okay, I'm back. First class. I think this is where I learned the Leviosa spell. But I may have gotten a spoiler or two. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited to try this. Game looks amazing. I just hope that it's um, cooperative. I hope it doesn't lag out and stuff. So let's get into it. Babe, let me know when you're in here, by the way. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking okay, yourself good. how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we you will are do old. a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? Ha. One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. Unspeakable. Especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Okay, steady your wand. Okay, I'm learning Levioso. Nice. New spell acquired. Levioso. Levioso. I thought it was Leviosa. Now, let's try something a little larger. I'm at 0% skipped frames, so that's good. It's a good sign. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast? I do. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, Levioso. Now, well done. Levioso. Fantastic. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. I got a dual homie. Levioso, good form. I know. Protego, Levioso. Get fucking rocks, buddy. Throttle that ass. Not bad for a beginner. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different goblins. kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So. I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. 
again. Well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. He probably will have some oh, ideas right. for me. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Levioso is for people, correct. Levioso. But it can be used on objects too, I'm sure. I think I can use it on cats. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. You must be his girlfriend. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Oh, you're the girl from the common room. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Oh, okay, so it's a separate spell. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. You're a weirdo. Nice work. I enjoyed that. This guy seems that like a punk. Duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. It wasn't. I'll have my share of wand combat. It was never used my wand in combat. In fact, it was. Make him think I'm a punk. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Sounds illegal. Sounds intriguing. Sounds suspicious. Sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. It makes sense. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. That makes sense you too. You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. You're Good. a bad influence. Pleasure Slytherin. chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. We'll do. Till next time. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Sounds like a Hufflepuff to me. What's up, homie? Why are you moving my face? Goodbye, Sebastian Swallow. So was Harry Potter. Who was Harry Potter? Yeah, I guess he kind of was. What are you up to now? Revelio. Alright, so let's go. A bad influence. Yeah, you're right. Quests. Um, new quest. So, crossed wands, which is, I guess, a secret dueling club. That's cool. Um, charms classes next. I'm gonna rock my my Hogwarts gear. Legendary gloves. Sweet collections. Oh, yeah. I collected new gloves. Very nice. Let's see. Change appearance. Dark arts scarf. Nah, I don't want a scarf. I'll wear the scarf. Fuck it, right? Put this hat on. Change appearance of the hat. 
That's cool. Or you could just hide the hat. Nice. I like that. You can like really customize it that way. Okay. So next is Rebellion. Next, I think, is Charms class. Yeah, go to Charms class. That's a cool painting. I'd imagine the Hufflepuff common room smells the most delicious on account of it being so close to the kitchen. They said it's Stephanie Meyer. What do you mean? Revelio. Oh, the woman burning in the painting. Augre skeleton. This is a skeleton of an Irish phoenix of Augre and intensely shy bird who can forecast the coming of rain and whose mournful cry was once believed to foretell death. Interesting. I think I forgot one in the classroom too. On another adventure, are we? Yeah, right there. I thought I saw it. Rebellion. Hebridian Black Skeleton. This large dragon skeleton hat that hangs in the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hellcat after she single-handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in eastern Wales. Very cool. And I can't go in here, I know. Oh, I leveled up. It's been ages since I've sent I wonder what that means. Do I get anything for leveling up? Very cool. I've always said that travel Ooh. broadens the mind. What's her name? Stephanie Meyer. She's a psycho. This is very cute and quaint. Wish I could sneak into the other common room. Just for an hour or so. I wish I could too, buddy. Um You know what, let's just focus on getting to charms class just so I can learn I because I'm sure I learn another spell. Or whoever wrote Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling is the person who wrote Harry Potter. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so watch this. I think I can do this. Let me also. Look at Mila! Oh, sweet baby. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, come here. Oh, my pretty girl. Look at you. You're so happy. Who the hell is Stephanie? Uh, they said since she's burning, it's redemption for people playing the game. Who the hell is Stephanie? You wrote Stephanie Meyer. I don't know. Lumos. Wow, look at that. That's cool. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Leave me be. You make a point. That's scary. It's the Twilight author. Yeah, look at you. <laughs> I think that's a little extreme though, saying that a lady burning in a painting. 
is J.K. Rowling. I'm like, it's a little extreme. But we're not going to talk about politics and shit like that. Rebellion. I guess I have to go upstairs, and those ghosts c cause some stutter. Yeah. But it still says, okay, so I have 584 out of 80,000 frames skipped. So 0.7%. That's a big improvement. Oh, look at that dog. I think Charms is still upstairs. Yeah. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. Rebellion. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily oh, wow. want him to get back to the lesson. Look at that. What is that bitch doing? What the fuck? Look at this pretty kitty. There's cats running around everywhere, babe. Look at all these cats. Look, the other one's coming to me. Hi, friend. I'm just gonna be petting all these cats for like hours. Hey, pretty girl. Wow, look at that. There's something up there. A chest. Oh, I got a healing potion out of that. That's cool. I, so I can get more than coins out of those. It looks like those ghosts were the only thing that stuttered because right now I'm still at 584. But if it goes up, I'll let you know. Look at all these cats. I like this room. In the Goblin Rebellion of 1750. The Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer oh. for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling um, lies, This looks kind of... It was Albert Boot. Oh, that's no, it Peeves. Wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Ooh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack! Wait, I think this was might the be the Ravenclaw. The Is this the Ravenclaw room? Wait, what does this do? Blue Mice. No way. Whoa. That was cool. Lumos. So I can use spells to unlock stuff. Okay. Something happened. I can't believe she's impressed. And why should I be impressed anyway? It's slowly going up. She's a little liar. This is nice. It's like a lot of tapestry. Professor Fig's classroom. Flu flames discovered. Maybe lower your game off ultra. Maybe. Let's see. Oh, these things. I like these things. Rebellion. Let's see. Oh, wrong.
wrong class. Oh, this is nice, though. What is this? Mm. I don't know if I want to pick that up right now. I'm going to wait. Let's go back to the classroom we're supposed to go to. There's a lot of that stuff you don't even notice. You could go in offline and lower some to keep others at ultra. Yeah, maybe. I'll check that out later. I just put everything at high instead of ultra for right now. So we'll see if it gets better. All right, let's start uh, charms class. There's an open seat here. Thank you. Hello. Hello, I am Nettie. Hello, Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> no, I haven't. Shall we begin? Yes. <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? One changes anyone? color, one changes anyone? size, right? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, this guy's funny. <laughs> Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Yes. Sure. Oh, I'm gonna learn Akio. It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Natty, you're going to be my partner. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects. Akio so bomb. Are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. I'm going to learn Akio. Ooh, I can't wait. This is going to be dope. Akio. That's dope. Akio. Oh. That is not bad. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. Thank you. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. You're absolutely right, sir. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Ooh, competition. Everyone, that's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get, let's get it. We're going outside. Ooh. Wow, how beautiful. Hi. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Okay. Very simply, cast Accio. The summoning charm Accio pulls the target closer to you the caster. Hold RT and press the sign button to cast Accio and pull the target closer. Now, this RT think of this like to ease casting as well. If you will. Okay. But instead of throwing the ball out, you are summoning them. That's it. Control there. Splendid. Oh, that was a good last one. Okay, so I hold it. The longer I hold it, 
the longer I hold it, the stronger it is. To Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Sure. Come on up. Come on, Natty. You'll be the blues just as before, and okay. Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Exactly to summon the ball close as close as you can. Wow. You're good. Come on. Come on. Get there. Oh. Oh, she gave me 50. That is how it's done. But mine's in 50 now. That's not fair. You're my way, baby. Alright. Very good. Quite impressive. Here we go. Ooh, only 30? Couldn't be me, bro. Let's go. Three for three. A perfect score. Remind yeah, I did name myself Severus Black. Like Snape and Sirius combined. It's kind of cool. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Sure. What do you do? Mm. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. This looks difficult. I'll okay. say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You go first, Natty. We'll need it. This round settles it all. Be sharp. Ooh, ooh! You just made it. Good job. There we go. Yes, yeah, stop, 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 stop. Ah, yes. Ooh, get fucked. Damn, Natty. You suck. Just kidding, you don't suck. Ooh, right through. Stop, 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 stop. Yes. Come on, come on, come on. 50, 50, 50, 50. That's right. Two perfect rounds. You're a natural. Gotcha, Natty. Very good, both of you. Well done. Thank you. Very nice. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Thank you. I'm glad you understand. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, oh, cool. we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, most 
Hardly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Really? That's interesting. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Hmm. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. <laughs> yeah, it does. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. Really? So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it I don't really know. Intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. I know a little bit about the lore of like the other academies, but I've never actually seen like fan fiction or like pictures or descriptions of Wagadu. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Mm. Until next time. See you, Natty. Of course, you can use a word if you would. Oh, you again. If you're so inclined. Oh, hey, Carissa. After my brother learned the summoning Chrisita, charm, whatever. it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Mm -hmm. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. Distracted? <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ah, ordinary okay. curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon a regarding challenge. a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Okay. Cool. Quest complete. Charms class. Rebellion. Ooh, look at that. Big chest over there. Ooh, look at all that stuff. Look at all that stuff. Hmm. Interesting. Probably talk to this this guy. Harry. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Harry. Of wisdom, Whoa. but a bit mad. Yeah. Can I um? Akio. Oh. Let me answer. I don't think I can. Akio. Let me no, I can't. Huh. Damn. That's cool. Let's go up here real quick. Level one lock, okay. So I need to like find like a locksmithing perk or something like that hello there hey. you're the new student aren't you yes ma'am i am hello you wanted to speak to me samantha dale i've been eager to meet you you're the student everyone's been whispering about am i hope your first day is going well you certainly seem to hold your own in charms what's kind of you to say <laughs> i've been fortunate beginner's luck my brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Mm. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Get to it. Rebellio. Accio. Hmm. 
Can I Accio a cat? Wait. <sighs> you poor baby. Wait, come back. No, 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 no. My baby, my baby. Wait, 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 wait. Come, come here, come here, come here. No, 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 no. <laughs> Look at this little baby. Come here. Oh. I'm over here just fucking with cats, bro. <laughs> I like that I can just like screw around with my environment. It's really cool. Awesome. Oh wow. Okay, when Guardium Leviosa is different than Levioso. Gotcha. That's what you said, babe. Hmm. Imperio. Okay. Crucio. Oh, and the killing curse. Uh oh. Okay. Well, I don't know what kind of character I want to be yet, but we'll see. Okay, so I can. Nice. So I can capture these things out of the sky now. That's good. Transfiguration. Uh, okay, I don't know what those things do to be honest, and I don't want to like screw something up. Even if I knew how to get it. What's my next um? What's my next quest? Weasley after class. Professor Weasley wants to meet you. Wants you to meet her in her classroom, which is in the Transfiguration Courtyard. It's a puzzle. I know it's a puzzle, but I don't know what to do. All right, I'll go try to. I'll go try to solve it. Okay, between the library annex and the astronomy wing. Hopefully, she has word. On replacing my lost supplies. Ah, that's important. Wait, I want to make sure. Track quest. Good. All right, let's go decide, try to solve this puzzle. How nice to see you, my young friend. You too. All right. You match the shapes to the door frame, right? But there's one, two. The food that appears in the great court is Slithering the lucky they get to sleep next to the lake. Water. There's two. Some of I don't know. Hmm. Revelio. Hmm. math i'm not good at math okay three zero and two makes five unicorn four and eight okay so that's unicorn they put math oh hi pretty kitty they put math second symbol what do you mean second symbol Hi, kitty. Oh. Okay, second symbol. Oh no, I didn't want to pet the cat right there. <laughs> My bad. Okay, enough, enough, enough. This cat is distracting me. Open. Okay, so that's a unicorn. 
Second staple equals two. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So this one is unicorn. So three must be that little thing up there. All right, let's see if it's an option. No. Yeah, maybe a spider. Where are you getting two from? No. Three plus two equals five. Where are you getting two from, though? Three plus two. So maybe one, two. And maybe one, two, three. You said two. I didn't say two. Who's. <laughs> No, 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 because what I was saying was it's three, zero, and question mark to equal, to, I assume, equal five. So three, zero, and two means five. Exactly. But, so, so like two question marks? Two question marks and one question. So put a spider. Put a spider. So twelve minus four equals unicorn. 12 minus 4 minus unicorn. Well, if we're going left to right, unicorn is 2. But if we're going right to left, unicorn is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Hmm. Unicorn, 4. That's 8. Because 12 minus 4 is 8. So 4 plus 8 is 12. Where are you going, baby? What are you doing? Come here. <laughs> oh, poor girl. Don't run for me. Is that squiggly thing an option on the double question mark? Let me see. This one? That's kind of squiggly. You're talking about this squid. Okay. That one? This one right here? Or the dragon. I'll try the dragon. Hmm, this is hard. Or the owl thing. The owl. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this has double question mark, it's got unicorn, it's got dragon, crab, octopus, squid. This has spider, question mark, Mila, 
bull. Owl. Okay, there's an owl. Not an option. So that's an owl. Hmm. Hello. Lumos. Hey, pretty girl. Don't move. Okay. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Does the double question mark have a four-legged creature? That one. That's five. Yes, okay. Unicorn, four, and double question mark. Question mark three and zero. Unicorn's not on this one on the left. Double zero crab. Three zero. Rebellion. There's like some cool chests in there I want to get. I'd say put the spider and try it. Okay. Nah. Nothing. This is hard. What does this mean? Okay. Three, zero, question mark, five. Wait a minute. So this one's a triangle going up. No, I want to get this now. This one's a triangle going down. And this is one question mark. This is two question mark. Now I want to get this. You got me interested in this now. Okay. Unicorn four and double question mark. There's 10 options for pictures. You are just so affectionate. Alright. Three, zero, question mark, and five. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And this one we're going to do one, two, three, four. Okay. Now I want to get in here. You got me like wanting to do this now. We started this. We're not going to finish until we're done. What is this? What is it? What could it be? Is there any clues? Yeah. 
It is like clues somewhere. Hi, you're just so happy. Maybe try them backwards. Maybe. Unicorn. Question mark? Let's try unicorn, okay. Two is unicorn, but it's on question mark double, yes. So unicorn, and this one would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's six? I don't know. Six on this dial, on that dial, or on the frame? Because we're doing this assuming that, like, this this question mark is, like, zero. On the frame. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's crab if you're going left to right, and it's owl if you're going right to left. It's not based on the pictures on the frame. Hmm. Right. Hmm. Maybe it's like, remember in school we used to do those things where it was like, what comes next in this order? And it was like, zero, three, five, Maybe seven? Maybe it's just doing odd numbers? So like... No, it's based on the pictures on the front. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, do y'all know what this is? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe there's a hidden thing on the ground. Human transfiguration is dangerous. Charlotte Morris. I don't think there's any secrets on the ground. Is that Dumbledore? Hmm. No, it's all there. Yeah. What do you think? Do you have any other ideas? <sighs> Lumos. Revelio. What if owl is zero? It might be. Zero. One, two, three. Owl might be zero, but then that little squid might also be zero. Hmm. So that so try the new two. What is the new two? Owl? New two would be this thing. But is this also on this side? The goat looking thing. The goat looking thing. Yeah, the goat looking thing. But then what about this side?
12 minus 4 minus 1 unicorn. That's 7. Assuming that unicorn is one. That's the seven picture. Well, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It would be this. We did it! Oh my god, okay. So that's zero, one, two. Wait. We did it! So, okay, so it reads, <laughs> it reads left to right starting at zero. Oh, okay. Let's go see what's in here. Lumos. Collection updated globes, okay. This is cool. It's a pestrel. Orange eye of newt goggles. Wow, interesting. That's cool. We did it. I'm proud of us. Alright, let's go here. <laughs> I have to do that. Wait, 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 wait. Change appearance, change appearance. I gotta do that. <laughs> Look at me. We're the best. We're good at math. A variety of clothes. That's cool. <laughs> look at me. I look stupid. <laughs> Alright, what is... Okay, meet Professor Weasley in the Transfiguration classroom. Okay. Because I want to meet with her because she's going to tell me how I can get a new, um, a new wand. Looks like the Death Eater. No, it looks like, um, Mad-Eye Moody from the fourth Harry Potter film. Rebellion. Lumos. I like that. What's the one of them like Snape? Um, I don't know. I don't know who you're talking about. No, he wasn't. He was um he was a good guy. He was an Auror, so he was a dark wizard hunter. And he was the guy in the fourth movie that was the Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher, but he was held captive by a bad guy. And so the bad guy was pretending to be him. But um It's kind of sick. I'm gonna wear these because I look stupid and I like it. But I also like my Migos glasses. My Migos glasses. I'm gonna stick with this though. This looks so stupid. Oh, I can put my hood on too. Let's go. In the pit. Yeah, in the pit. Mm-hmm. I feel like me with a hood on is kind of natural in this game because I wear hoodies a lot. I'm a menace. 
Rebellion. There's something close by. I think there's something going on with this. Lumos. Accio. Leviosa. Interesting. I want to see if this opens. Accio. Leviosa. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Let's go to the Transfiguration Courtyard and see if she sends me to Hogsmeade to pick my wand out. You need the spell. Yeah, I know. This is beautiful, dude. I'm so... I am blown. Oh, I can probably repair this once I get the repair spell. Leviosa. New rewards. Nice. Rebellion. Lumos, Leviosa, Accio, Lumos. Oh, there's another puzzle. Let's do it. We're masters at this, though, so it's not a problem. It's a non issue. Accio. I leveled up. Let's go, baby. Okay. Crab, squid. Okay, so crab is one zero one two three four five. Okay, so five. Squid is zero one two three four five six seven eight nine. So seventeen minus nine minus five. Nine plus five is fourteen. So seventeen minus fourteen is three. So one of them needs to be the goat. I think that's this one. one boy oh. fell off his broom now. I think this one needs to be the goat. Okay, goat is not an option. So I think this one needs to be goat. Okay. And the other one is 11, 3, so... That's 14. So 7. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The octopus. Let's give it a shot. I left out 0. Okay. <laughs> Same door, different math. Okay. And we're going to reset these. Question mark. And... Double question mark. Rebellion. Alright. Easy, right? Counting the shapes. Alright. So, question mark. 11, 0, 1, 2, plus 2 is 13. 21 minus 13 is 21 minus 13. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> okay. 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. That's 8. No, 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 no. 21 minus 13 is 8. 
because it's 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It should be spider. Okay. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Okay. This one is... Okay, 17, so crab is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, 5. Squid is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 plus 5 is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so 17 minus 14 is 3. So 0, 1, 2, 3. So the next one needs to be dragon. Move. God. Let's get it. Quick mass, baby! Let's go! We're professionals, bro. Let's get it. Oh my god, that's what I'm talking about. What'd I get? Ruined high stairway. I guess that's for the room of requirement. Ivory scarf. Ooh, that's cool. Let's see. This is what I'm talking about, bro. I am a genius. This has more defense, so I guess I have to wear this. But I want it to look like that. I have a new scarf. Can you sell aesthetics to buy different items? I don't know if I can sell them, but I know I can destroy them. It's a nice scarf. Can I hide the scarf though? Yeah, I can. So I can, this is cool. I can equip, like I equipped that scarf that gave me plus six defense, but I can hide it. So I can, I'm wearing this item of clothing, but I'm hiding it because I don't want it to, you know. Drip or drown, exactly. I like this look right now. Okay, so... Unfortunately... So it's like this, for example. I like these because it looks stupid. But these... These have a f number 4 defense. And this has a 3 defense. These are higher level though. Yeah. I wanna wear I wanna equip these and then I'm going to go here, change appearance to make it look like these. I think that's really cool. I think that's like super customization. Cause I might I might really like a piece of I can sell those, can I? I could destroy them. I can't sell them. I can sell them. I'm assuming I have to find like a merchant. But like, let's just say I really like a level one piece of like, like scarf that gives me defense, right? I can equip a level 12 or whatever scarf, but make it have the appearance of that level one scarf. I think that's really cool. Like to me, that's like, that's dope. Because it really lets you be and look like the way that you want. A crumbling stairway supported by a high column. Decorations. Cool. I like it. Rebellion. 
handy resource indeed, your field guide. I most There's a chest right here. Silver spectacles, nice. These all just look like Harry Potter glasses. Oh, this is Potion's classroom. I need to get out. I need to get out. There's a chest down here, though. I might as well just go for that chest. Fuck it. Dark Arts Cloak. That's cool. Let's see what that looks like. There's a thing on that desk. I know there is. I just, I'm kind of... Uh, I don't know if I want to... Defense four. Nah, I don't like those. I don't know if I want to pick it up or not. That's kind of stylish. Yeah, I'm going to rock that for a little bit. That looks nice. Rebellion. Should I pick that thing up on the desk? I guess I'll go for it. Memorandum date thirty blah 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 blah. From Aura Office, subject, Morgan and Burks. Morgan and Burks has an increased amount of activity. I didn't realize you'd been there before. I hadn't been there before. I just, um, I seen something like this in a different classroom and I just didn't pick it up. Morgan and Burks has an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given that we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more auras to join those have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions for the instructions to follow. Hmm. Okay. Revelio. Huh. Go to my gear actually. Inventory. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay, so these are just collectibles. So I can pick these up without like starting new quests and stuff like that. That's good to know. I'm gonna rock my my house colors a little bit. You think Gareth Weasley would be better? Off on another adventure, are we? I wonder if I can interact with this yet. I'm just playing gobstones on the kitchen floor with my cousins. <laughs> Not the same here in the courtyard. Cool <laughs> Let's see what that gave me. Oh, nothing. All right, let's go to Transfiguration. Oh, is it closed again? Okay, no. Pretty little owls. My house broom is busy. Hmm. Kitty. Hey, pretty girl. Oh. Uh. Rebellion. Ooh, whoa. Accio. Lumos. Levioso. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. What's out here? What is this? Lock. All these locks. Revelio.
Lumos. Wait a minute. There is a little hole right here for a butterfly. Those butterflies that I can make follow me, I must have to put them in there. Wow. Rebellion. There's a big chest right there. There's a whole bunch of chests everywhere. Alright, let's not get distracted. Let's not get distracted. Dobe, those I paintings haven't been thing. fucking the frame. Yet. Nah, they them. haven't. Look at my stupid ass. <laughs> Excuse, Deke. Hey, Deke. Ah. Hello, yeah, Deke. Hello. Good to see you. I trust your first classes went well. They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hackett and Ronan. It's Hellcat, Seems not Hackett. Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Mm, no. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Didn't see I'm nothing. To get a sonnet from Didn't a hear nothing. Stranger. Don't know nothing. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. Yes, ma'am. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. I heard Professor Ronan mentioned that. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier. We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. Thank you. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I agree. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Hmm. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. Let's go. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Definitely Natty, because Sebastian, I feel like, is going to get me into some serious shit. Natty's I'd a G, like to too. Natty. Excellent Love choice. Natty. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Noted. Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner so you I have a companion. Work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer. Butterbeer, let's get it. This is exciting. Rebellion. Speak to Professor Maroon to, fear, to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given by Hogwarts Professor that, when completed, reward you with new spells. Oh, sick! The reward, the reward for completing your first assignment will be Mending Charm Reparo. That's perfect. 
which is required to complete other quests. You can track assignments. Okay, cool. Rebellion. Ah, this is a little Easter egg from the Harry Potter films. When Ron tried to transfigure his rat into a cup, it looked like that. That's hilarious. I love that. Obviously, there's a lock on her door. Yeah. What's this? Leather long coat. Nice. I don't know what that looks like. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Okay, I need Reparo, so I have to do this one first. Rebellion. Oh, look, ogres. Hello. Ah, there you are. I'll be right back. One second. I'm back. Sorry. 
You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the Mending Charm Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Great. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Collect the flying page near the broken statue. This is the one I have. Got it. Okay. Collect the flying page in the defense against the Hearts Tower. Babe, I just want to say, I don't know if you're there or not, but my game is running smoothly. And like for the past hour, I haven't gone over 1,596 skipped frames. And I have like 337,000. So. I'm very happy the about that. The page must be around here somewhere. Akio! Brilliant. Turn to Professor Rowan. Revelio. Not sure he's in at the present moment, the headmaster. Would be sure to tell him how very much you despise him. Wait, is this the headmaster's? Oh. Is that it? I just had to collect those two pages? I trust the preliminary tasks. I completed the assignment. That was it? Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Oh, I missed that one. Wait, I missed that one. I don't want to... Nice. I got repair. -o. The mending charm repair -o can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. So can I break stuff and then repair it? That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized Repair. heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate. Wow, look at that. Rebellion. Oh, I leveled up. I did it. I did it, sir. Repairer. That's so cool. Nice. Hmm. Excuse me.
like that. What do I? What am I eating? I'm eating that bagel that I got, babe. The uh, sausage, egg, and cheese bagel. Repairo. Very nice. All right, what is my next quest? No assignments. Welcome to Hogsmeade. I need to go to Hogsmeade. Okay. Where is that on the map? Oh, wow. So I actually have to... I'm, ooh, ooh, I'm going to leave the castle for the first time. That's exciting. Rebellion. me get my wand. I think I already did this, right? Yeah, I already got that. <laughs> Look at these guys. <laughs> that's so cool, dude. <laughs> oh, that's the coolest thing. Wait. <laughs> Prepare him. <laughs> he just punched the Rebellion. shit out of him. He just beat the I shit out of him. I tell you not to put too much dragon oil on your fruit snap seedlings. I adore spending sunny afternoons in the viaduct. Wonderful place to practice. Is this a pensive? On other students' books. Mother school is so dull compared to Hogwarts. I'd imagine. That's so cool. They're moving and like looking around and stuff. Hey, bud. Oh, he's the Hufflepuff ghost. Professor Weasley is a marvelous Revelio. The three sister bells. The three sister bells are said to be a tribute to the similarly named beautiful steep ridges that rise majestically over a glen in blah 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 blah. It is rumored that one can hear the ring of the glen way across the highlands when they are roaming the castle. Locals have been baffled by the mysterious ring for years. Oh, very cool. Easy to read in the star chart. She has no patience for time wasting. Hello, looking for me? Yes. Rebellion. One second, dog. How oh, nice Chance to see you, my young like friend. Hold on, Nadia. I gotta eat real quick. Look at the tiki head. Oh, a piece of paper. Off on another adventure, are we? Always. What sort of witch would take that man's hand in marriage? I suppose, on the other hand, it means it's hope for us a lot. Rumor is Professor Hecate used to work for the ministry. I wonder what she did. Everyone seems to fear Mr. Sharp. Not really. 
senior Mirages. If I had to pick a favorite professor, I'd choose Garlic. Underneath that chip persona lies a brilliant herbological mind. Sometimes I'm not fully sure if Roman's teaching us a spell or having a practice himself. Don't you find? Genuinely question as to whether the man's at Hogwarts to steer the next generation or to become the next Yurik the Odd Boy. Wonder how sharp injured his leg. I'd wager it was something to do with his time as an aura. I'd die of embarrassment if my mother Sorry. Oh, there's another one right Rebellion. here. Broken Broom. This Broken Broom belonged to Celine Warnt Nubby, who is rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar operation charm to fellow third years. No one knows if she succeeded. Oh, poor girl. I got a new scarf. Ooh, plus eight. Hmm. Very cool. Rebellion. There's one right here as well. Flattened armor. This set of armor belongs to Sir Scragglethorpe. <laughs> <coughs> the Heedless, who unwisely challenged a mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. That's fucking hilarious. Rebellion. Goblin artifact. <clears throat> Horns like these were used by goblins during the 1612 Goblin Rebellion to rally troops and generally annoy witches and wizards. This horn was discovered in the aftermath of the rebellion behind the Hog's Head Inn with a wedge of Gorgonzola stuffed inside. That's a good cheese. Presumably to beauty. It's very cool. Revelio. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go check that. I'm gonna go check that chest out to see if I can get it. Oh wow, look. Another one. Scorch marks. <clears throat> Allegedly, the location of the first known instance of an arguably successful casting of Bombarda. Date unknown, caster unidentified. That's hilarious, dude. The level of detail that they're putting into these games. Like, look at that. That's hilarious. Look at these things, man. Rebellion. Oh, it's foggy up here. Frogs. Elegant formal uniform. Nice. Oh, I guess I guess I need a, uh, a spell for this. Wow. Hmm. 
Revelio. Frog Choir. Here perch the slimy yet symbolic frogs that compromise the Hogwarts Frog Choir. These magical amphibians can sing a six part harmony and hold a pitch better than most humans. Very neat. <clears throat> Alright, I'm getting distracted. I'm getting distracted. Revelio. No way, look at this painting. Lumos. Levioso. Accio. Reparo. Revelio. So cool, dude. Classroom, this is Revelio. History of Magic Windows. This set of stained glass windows featured Merlin, the four Hogwarts founders, and various other witches and wizards of the age. Merlin. Leveled up, let's go. Hey, buddy. Oh, shit. You just went through me. Ugh. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, that's Merlin. That's uh, people. And that's um, the Hogwarts houses. Oh, look, Gryffindor's sword. Beautiful classroom. Akio. Lumos. Leviosa. Repair hmm. This is broken. Fuck it. I can spend all my <gasps> Hey Natty. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. Yes, ma'am. And to see the village. Hell yeah. I've been looking forward to it. Look at my Good. stupid ass. <laughs> Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Yes, please. I'm ready to go, Natty. Lead the way. This is going to be exciting. <coughs> Wow, look, we're outside. Oh, you're just I off. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I wow. had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a Butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. The Quidditch Stadium. Look at this. I think if you look right there, I think that might be the Whomping Willow. Or is this the Whomping Willow? I want to find the Whomping Willow though. Wow. Babe, look at this. That's the Owlry. Oh, 
Let's go, Natty. Can I go in here? I cannot tell you how I can to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in eight <gasps> No. To take it as an elective class, no, Natty, come back. So I suppose you would not really This is where I ride my Thestral. When your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Wait, well then who's in this? Is this where my hippogriff is? It's locked. Okay. I'll come back. The Thestral. So I pre-ordered it and I got the Dark Arts copy. <clears throat> and I get this Thestral. That I can ride. And remember in Harry Potter, they're the things that people can only see if they've seen death. And I watched that dude die in the beginning. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Let's go to Hogsmeade. We're gonna walk there? No way. I can't Accio her. Damn. Look at this. Oh my god. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to be I'm running around. Place, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> Not much for the gold, are you? I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Lumos. Let's get it, Natty. Wow. <gasps> Akio. Levioso. Akio. Akio. Lumos, repair <laughs> My bad. Oh, I forgot, man. <clears throat> I can't kill a goat. That's kind of whack. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Lumos. That's cool. What are these? Can I click these? What are these? Moonstone. Fuck yeah. You have a broom? Look, from the forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. <sighs> I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. So that's the Forbidden Forest. Wow. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Likely already named them too. Likely already right, named them too. Sugarfoot. Sugarfoot. Yeah, I gotta go get this. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professor's claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Pass that ruin. What is that? Hedwig! So these things do. 
Come on, Natty. Come on, bro. Keep up. Thestrals. See? But I only, only I can see them because I saw that guy die. Like, they would be invisible to regular students. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Akio! Let me know Lumos, repair all. Deal in class. Much can be gleaned outside of the castle. Let me open. Okay. I was about to say, you don't know what they've seen. That's true. You don't know what I've been through. Excuse me. Get some shrooms real quick. I'm just picking up all these materials, man. I might as well, right? Wow, I can't wait to just, like, explore. I need a broom, though. Well, I know where my Thestrals are now, so I can I can fly those, but... How are you know they've seen. In? Oh, look at that guy. I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. Mm. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you know you feel I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And wow, here look at this game. Exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. <sighs> Pretty girl. Oh, I wish I could spend all day in flying. Hello. I'm going to pet every cat that I see. I'm just letting you know. Every single one. I love these little things. My brother promised me a help for Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth yet? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back. You're not Hagrid. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Okay. Oh, Mr. Moon. Does that mean we're going to fight something? I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. I don't know what Moonstone does, but nearly there. <coughs> there is much to see outside of the castle walls. I'm still learning. Hugs meet. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I agree, Natty. Thank you. Natty's cool as fuck. I like Natty. Wow. And here we are. Cat, gotta pet it the cat. Hard to know where to start. Hold on, Natty, I gotta pet this cat. Sticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. Pretty girl. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. 
Can I like just go in? <sighs> I can just walk into any store I want. Rebellion. Saridwen's precarious cauldrons. This precariously stacked set of cauldrons outside Saridwen's advertises the shop's wares. It should be noted that stacking cauldrons in this fashion, while admittedly eye catching, is ill advised for anyone wishing to brew a potion of any intended effect. Revelio. I'll explore in a minute. I gotta finish this quest with Natty. That <laughs> bitch drunk as fuck. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and a wand. A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander. And I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience hogs me at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Sounds good. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guide's map. That is this one. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. The Hogsmeade map shows shops and points of interest. You can track any of these by highlighting the icon and pressing A. Press B to exit the Hogsmeade map. Addy, you're leaving? I want to know, is this a Shrieking Shack? No. I wonder if the Shrieking Shack is... Um... Here, Hog's Head. World map. Wait, wait, wait. I can finally see how big the world map is. Whoa. Is this all vendors? Oh, I'm going here. I'm getting a wand first. First and foremost. Ding, 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 ding. Give me my wand, bitch. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. How you know who I am, bitch? Uh, hello, sir. I'm looking for, for a new wand. Yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Yes, oh, sir. What am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. 
Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, I'm getting a wand. No, no, not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Oh. Hmm. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? No, sir. <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something not to worry. Hmm. No, not you. Uh, Hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. That looks nice. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Oh. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. <laughs> <sighs> This, this is, cute. is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. <clears throat> oh. Ugh. It's definitely pine, definitely phoenix feather, because those were the things that I got in my Hogwarts account. Curious indeed. I kind of like this one. Hmm. Look at that. Curious indeed. Babe, help me. I want you to help me with this. How intriguing. Wood type, obviously, you want it to be pine. Okay. 12 and quarter inches, supple. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Ah, Phoenix Feather. Exceptionally rare. And a core with a strong sense of initiative. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Yeah. You spelled that so wrong. <laughs> Curious indeed. I and mean, yeah, it is. Um, How intriguing. That's kind of nice. What what kind of one style do you like, though? Curious indeed. I mean, they all have different colors, too. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Hmm. 
curious indeed. How intriguing. That one's kind of neat. Ooh. This one's kind of like mossy. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Intriguing. The stock to the classic is cool. Curious indeed. How intriguing. I'll do indeed. I'll do stocked dark brown because my makeup is pine and pine I think is brown and dragon heart string that serves as a core of a one known for producing powerful magic consistent magic great range of magic I think dragon heart how intriguing That's it. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> I love it. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sense a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Of course. Lumos. Look at my wand. Wow, it's gorgeous too. That stock was a good call by you. Thanks, baby. Visit us again. Revelio. What is that guy doing? Ooh. Ooh, I just stole somebody's money. Oh shit. I'm like gonna get out of here, bro. So I can still like craft and brew and all that type of stuff. A Thestral. A Thestral is a haunting, winged, and unique beast that is only visible to those who have seen death. Broomstick was like level 14. Wow. Oh. How do you know? You've been, you've been looking stuff up, haven't you? 
Hogsmeade. Oh yeah, I found all this stuff in the castle. You've been looking ahead, you cheater. Oh, actually, let's look at that. Delicate wings used in, this, in the focus potion. They're commonly found in open fields. Mushrooms that leap serendipitously and are used in the invisibility potion. Ah. They're commonly found in the forested areas. An agreement commonly used for conjuration magic is found in every region acquired by breaking crystallized stone. Okay. Legendary. Wow, nine. up the hippogriff when you first started the game. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Staircase. This enchanted staircase in Tom's Scroll reveals itself when a particular book is moved. Ah, the proprietor here, Thomas Brown, so they've already written products including spellcrafts handy for contribution. A particular book is moved. Accio. Lumos. Leviosa. Repairer. I need to move a particular book. Luke. Is that the book? Do I have to like search for the book? Oh, there's books all the way up in the ceiling, bro. This might be the book. Wow, look at that. Sorry, I'm just over here redecorating your... Rebellion. Your fucking place, dude. My bad. Hmm. I want those chests. Can I go steal your chests? I think I'm gonna... Hmm. Green gloves. I need like a certain spell for this thing. Rebellion. Let's 
Excuse me, sir. Now that I've stolen from you. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcraft, Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? yes. I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Ooh, I can sell. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. I gotta sell anything just yet. Thank you for your Let's help, sir. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Rebellion. Are you the guy? Revelio. Is it the guy? Here's the potion shop, right? Or are you the no you don't look like the guy? J Pippin's potion, right? Hmm. That's not J Pippin's potions. I should imagine she'd always have room for an extra cauldron. Let's go to the map. Hmm. You know what this looks like? Looks like a butterfly. Ooh. Alright, hold on. I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Click on the quest for directions. Yeah, I know. Give me a minute.
my plan is to have enough galleons one day that I don't have to work at all. I just spend my days making treacle tarts and denoming the golden. When I was a girl, I wanted to work with unicorns. It was a win at last. My first employment was at honey juice. <laughs> Stop girl I was. I did put on a bit of weight though. If it weren't for the cost of things these days, I'd be able to take a holiday somewhere. If only I could invent a new potion. Something indispensable. I'd be set for life. Back. Hmm. Owl post. Hmm. Level two and repairo rewards ancient magic throw, ancient magic. getting drunk. Rebellion. Yeah, all those are locked, so I'm gonna need like a lock picking thing. Ooh, look. So these are locked as well. Oh, this is the strategy came down. Sorry. Revelio. Oh shit. Oh, that's cool. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. J. Pippin's Potions! Refined dueling gloves. Ooh, I want to see what these look like. Oh, those are cool. I'm definitely going to wear those. J. Pippin's Potions! Rebellion. Jay Pippin's potion was established in 1753 as the apothecary in Hogsmeade, where proprietor Perry Pippin, <laughs> try saying that, sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. Lit. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank you. Pardon goodness. me, Pippin. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Mm -hmm. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. 
A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. Mm -hmm. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? Will do. But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Yes, sir. What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. I feel like I'm going to need these. But they're so expensive. Oh, cool. Focus potion. I should buy more of these. Hmm. I'm not going to sell anything yet. I told myself I wasn't going to sell anything yet, so... Visit the Magic Neep. It's this one. This one's the map. Nope, not that one. This one is the map. The Magic Neep. Is this it? Brood and Peck. A beast supply shop stop with the latest and greatest of beast bottles. I need to get whatever fucking spell that is. <laughs> Another one. I need to find that spell. Ooh, flu for him. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased. Akio. Hmm. There's another one. Hello, Timothy. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, yes, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop. The magic neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? Makes sense. I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Makes sense. I need Let some Dittany. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. I'm not gonna buy more than I need. And I'm not gonna. Revelio. The Magic Neep cart guide pages. This cart belongs to Timothy Teas Teasdale. I'm at Teasdale? Runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being in the thick of things and getting with customers outside the shop. Very cool. Ooh, a little sack of gold. 
Thank you. Challenge complete. Oh, nice. Oh, I got a top hat. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so that's only for appearance. Cool. Meet Natty in Town Circle. Is it one of those? Damn it. It's a little gloomy up here. scary. Very scary, actually. Revelio. What is this? I got a beret. Wow. It's a powerful beret. Madam Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used <laughs> to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly, why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry, and I'm here thriving. This dude's gonna die. Absolutely thriving. Thriving. But look Let's at you. go. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? I'm not sure what you mean, but I'm quite all right as I am. Yep. Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. Hmm. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. Okay. What services do you offer? Let's see what she has. So this is just where I change my character. Might be interested in? Oh, okay, okay. I can just like change my haircut and stuff. Nah, I'm good. Thank you, lady. Rebellion. Appreciate your help. There's a page out here that I kind of want to get. Rebellion. There's a page over there. Is that it? No, it's a, uh, a thing. There it goes.
Rebellion. Hengist of Woodcroft. This statue is of Hufflepuff Hengist of Woodcroft, believed to be the founder of the village of Hogsmeade, after having been driven from his home by Muggle persecutors. Oh, very cool. Oh, I can swim. Wait, wait, wait. What's in here? Oh. Locked. Ooh, I can interact with this bush. Ha! That's awesome. I was told that if you put in a good effort, you'll reap the reward. Rebellion! Honeydukes. Honeydukes sweet shop sells a variety of magical sweets from fizzing. Whizbees to exploding bonbons. Customers would be wise to know precisely what effect may they experience before sampling the shop's wares. That's true. I see a little, um, little bag of cash. Hmm. Babe, this is where we went when we went to, um, Rebellion. These are the sweets rumored to contain billywig stings, or small sherbet balls that then consumed, that one consumed will levitate one a few inches off the ground. Oh, there's one over here too. Rebellion. Exploding bonbons. These treats explode when eaten. Although, <laughs> although they are unlikely to cause a serious injury, one is advised to choose carefully. That's hilarious. I'm not allowed in there. Rebellion. This place is awesome. I can't get there yet because I don't have the. I wish I could pick locks. It's locked. Is this locked? No. Tea shop decor. Reflective of proprietor Miss Steeply's taste, this tea shop is awash in the color pink and frills a cherry tinkly bell chimes whenever a customer enters. Oh, that's cute. Level up. Damn, look at that fat sack. Oh, only 40. Damn. Let's go upstairs and see what's going on. Rebellion. Ooh, chest. What's this shop? Silver shaft cats. These cats seem to stay close to shoulder shaft, blah, 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 quill shop. Perhaps it's the feather quills that enhance them, or perhaps entice them, or perhaps it's the treats the owner leaves them. That's cute. Your gear slots are full. Oh, so I have to sell gear. Hmm. Okay. So I, ha I have to sell gear. Okay, that makes things different. Come here. It's a pretty dress.
Got money. Nice. Excuse me, sir. I'd like to talk to you. Uh, I guess that's not my quest. Hold on, because I want to go somewhere where I can sell stuff. I think I can sell stuff at Tomes and Scrolls. So I'm going to go sell my gear so I can go pick up that other gear. Look at what we have, shall we? Okay, I'm gonna sell you this. I'm nervous though. Hold on, because if I what if I sell these, what if I lose them? You know. But now, what happens if I sell these? I'm gonna Let's be really look upset at what we if have, I lose them. For example, sell. Okay. Now hold on. Okay, so I can keep the style, right? Okay, cool. So I can keep the style even though I no longer own. So I can just sell everything. That's great. That's that's so cool that Let's they did look that. At what we have, shall we? So that means I'm just gonna f fuck it, dude. I'm so cool. I'm selling everything. Sweet. Okay. Perfect. Now let's go back and loot that gear. Sorry. This is cool. Revelio. Frequently regular frequented regularly regularly frequented regularly regularly by Hogwarts students and villagers alike, Zonkos is a place to buy pranks and jokes for Hogsmeade. That's dope. Frog spawn soap. An amphibious surprise awaits anyone who tries to wash with this particular bar of soap once submerged in water. A corner of ringling tadpoles hatches right from the studs. That's awesome. Rebellion. Whoa. Ah, fuck. <laughs> it scared the shit out of me. A favorite amongst pranksters, the dung bomb produces a foul odor, causing anyone in the vicinity to evacuate his taste. Oh shit, what was that? Don't push. 
That's awesome. Gear though. Where was it? Rebellion. Scary. Sneakerscope. A sneakerscope is a type of dark detector that will spin, whistle, and light up when it detects someone untrustworthy nearby. It should be used with caution, however, as it will alert the untrustworthy to the user's presence amongst instantly. Oh. That's cool. This was the shop. Yeah, I have to loot this. Renaissance cap. Nice. Very cool. These are little kitties. Alright, let's talk to Natty. Natty! Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Uh oh. Oh, fuck. Why does my face look like that? What fire? Draw it away from the building! Away from the building! Oh shit! Combat. Oh shit. Whoa. Holy fuck. Goodness. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. 
the makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Oh, I can of use course. repair. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Oh, she's a cop. Uh, oh, shit. Repairer. Oh, hello there. A, a moment, if you would. I will see what you want. thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Repair room. <laughs> nice. I did my uh, duty for the day. We're just talking about you. Put myself to some tea. Oh, this is why I couldn't talk to you earlier. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Uh, Augustus Hill, clothier extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Oh, sweet. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Oh, these are expensive. Temporary unavailable. Oh, all these are temporary. Oh, no. oh, now you received a new piece of gear. Cool your screen your current defense and offense are displayed on the top right of the screen okay suck the cloaks and robes gear slot with a a robe I already have a robe equipped <laughs> what am I wearing? What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Guess Sounds we like shall. A good idea. I have to change my outfit though. I look stupid. Why did it like reset all my shit? Hold on. Like this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this on.
I like the appearance of these gloves though. Okay. Enemies. Armored troll. Wow. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Revelio, should you be inclined? You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Very cool. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Zerona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Rebellion. Whoa. Oh, those are the bad guys. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student. Take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. This isn't Quickly, good. Let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. What? Thank you, Serona. You be well. Is that a guy or a girl? Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks, Thanks for this. this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, oh, time lane. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My you don't want to fuck around, kid. A well -earned butter beer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Theophilus? Imagine having off. that fucking name. Can't drink butter beer forever. We're gonna have to sneak out the back. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Mm. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I, I don't know, tell honey. Everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle.
Revelio. There's something nearby. Oh, nice, a new potion. Well, not a new potion, but another one. Some money. Oh, damn, these things, this goes all the way up. Oh, it's locked. I need to find a fucking... Something for locks, bro. Revelio. Butterbeer! Let's go. These barrels contain the popular wizarding drink, Butterbeer. It is served both cold and hot and has a slight alcoholic content that seems to impact house elves much more than humans. Makes sense. Oh, is that him? Oh, shit. I was about to throw hands, bro. She was about to get fucking weird. Rebellion. That looks like a loopable chest, though. I am certainly glad Serona was there. Me too. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. Mm. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. Maybe. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. I agree. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. You must return to your common room for the night. Oh, cool. Select Hogwarts map button. This is cool. I just zapped right to the common room. That's pretty nice. That's my owl. Hi, buddy. I want to learn new spells, though. Rebellion. You received an owl post. Oh. I'm in field guide. Oh, from Fig. What's up, Figgy? Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Oh, great. Oh, uh, sorry, ladies. Wrong way. Actually, no, that is the woman's. That's the men, so I must go up. How nice to see you, my dark friend. I've learned almost all of the goblin values off my heart. Go on, test me. Revelio. Can't. 
<laughs> There's another door over there. I wonder how we can get there. That's weird. Quests. Um, the locket secret. Talk to Professor Fig. I want to do this. Rebellion. That's so cool. Moving staircase. A savvy, a savvy student is wise to keep an eye on the stairs as they will change position without notice. While certain students may not mind being late for class, they may very well regret being late to dinner. <laughs> Rebellion. Well, I want to go up there, yeah. For, there's another puzzle. Babe, if you're still there, there's another puzzle. <sighs> okay. Which one's question mark? Which one's double? Okay, this one's double, so we'll do that first. So, dragon, squid. So, one, two, three, four. One zero one two three zero one two three four five six seven eight nine three and nine three and nine nine twelve so it should be squid <gasps> Fifteen Goat Should be Lizard First try Let's go, bro Automatic Autumn jumper uniform Ooh. Let's see what this looks like.
Easy. I'm glad you're still here, by the way. I didn't thought that you left. Easy. I'm like a math expert, dude. Um, where am I going though? Oh, I'm going. I want to go to this dual thing. Okay. Uh, let's. You know what? Let's try fast traveling. Fast traveling. Lumos. What are you up to now? This is the bridge. Oh man. Hedwig. Have fun, Hedwig. Levioso. I'm sorry. Akio. Reparo. Yeah, this should be by the clock tower over here. Rebellion. The well of four beasts. Some students believe that a wish made in the well of four beasts, whether near the Thestral, Griffin, Chimera, or Hippogriff, will come true for one who has gained the trust of any of the four. That's cool. Wait, is this another one? Unicorn. Can I help you? Hello. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian. Sebastian. For you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. That's nice to hear. <laughs> I seem to have a knack for jewelry. He is ten. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once again. Guess what? Before. I'm about to beat the shit and out of this kid. To liven things up, Just the kidding. winner is awarded the prize. Interested? Of course. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, I'm about to go zap, zap, zap. You can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? I'm ready. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. All right, Peggy. Peggy Sue, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, I know. Lumos. Luma. Can bring you back here. Don't show away now. Akio. Levioso. Expulso. Luma. You're back in the back. Oh, I'm getting fucked. Levioso. Akio. Victory. Pity more people can't watch the duels. 
I win. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Thank you. Hope to see you back here again. Me too. Where'd I get? A hat? Ooh, that's good. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to run out into the wilderness. What level am I actually? Can I fly yet? No, I can't. Wait, 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 wait. We're going to go to the map. We're going to fast travel. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. I'm going to see if I can jump on that Thestral. That'd be awesome. I saw you fight that troll in the village. You were incredible. Ba -ba -bum. Where's that best troll? I've always said that travel. Oh, I'm sorry, Bobo. I'm sorry, buddy. Let me open. Oh, okay, I can't. I can't. Um, can't fly them, unfortunately. Let's just let's just walk into the. Walk into the world, you know? Go a little bit less by the script. Wow. I mean, holy shit. This, I'm assuming, goes to the owl already, right? Revelio. Holy shit, look at that. Rebellion. Outland dueling gloves.
Hey. Rebellion. Hogwarts Owls. School owls and owls owned by students can be found in the Hogwarts Owlery. One is advised to explore carefully, keeping an eye out for owl droppings and regurgitated mouse skeletons. Ooh. Gross. There's a ladder. I can climb ladders. That's cool. Rebellion. Level ten, baby. Lumos. Levioso. Quidditch pitch. Uh, oh. Let's go into the world. I just wanted to check out the owl owlery um, for a quick minute. Get active. Yeah. Huh. Whoa, easy, but Hagrid. I don't think it's Hagrid, though. Hagrid's hut. Groundkeeper tools. One might surmise that this set of tools could be enchanted to create all sorts of furnishings. For a cozy hut as large as a the occupant may need. Good, I got another potion. Oh, that's bright. Oh, that's really pretty though. Oh my god, in the movies, that's where Dumbledore is buried. I have to. Oh, shit, I took damage from that? That's crazy. Oh. Revelio. Leviosa. Here. That looks like I need an explosive charm.
Levioso. Accio. It's kind of hard when the only spells I know are Levioso and Accio. I need to figure out how to get more spells, but I also kind of want to like explore, you know. There's gotta be something behind the waterfall. No? Very pretty. A squid. Revelio. What does this do? Let me open. Accio. Repair. Lumos. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what that would be, but... I want more spells. I have to figure out how to get more spells. But I don't, like... I want to keep going with the story, but I don't want to advance too far into the story where, like... You know what I mean? I want, like, cool combative spells. Ew. That sounded gross. Ooh, what was that? Leech juice. What was that? What did I do? Did I hurt it? the fuck are you? Creeping around a fucking school with your trench coat looking like a weirdo. Might I beseech you for some assistance? What? You look like a bitch, dude. I wanna see if that dude if that thing that I killed dropped anything. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm. I could skip rocks. That's cool. Where's the thing I killed? It had to have died, right? The thing went flying. Okay, we have to we have to go over here just because this is where Dumbledore was sent when he died. 
Oh, it looks like there's a bad thing over there. Oh. I don't know what that was. this bad guy. Whoa! Dung bong tone. I want to know what this is. It looks, um... Suspicious. Akio! Another bad guy over here. Dung box, two out of five. Nice. What's this? Oh, I got his tongue. That's cool. Are there any other bad guys? Dung bog. Where are the other dung box? Hmm. Oh, what's this? Potion. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. Rebellion. Hmm. Mold Mert Lap Tentacles. Mold Trap Mert Lap Tentacles are a rare potion ingredient known to raise resistance to certain dark charms and contain healing properties. An overdose, however, can cause purple ear syndrome. Got some leech juice. Let me answer. I'm sorry, guys. Let me answer. My fault. Let's go fight these things. Sorry, buddy. Rebellio. Okay, so it, it brings ingredients as well. Does collecting ingredients give you... Um, I don't think collecting ingredients gives you XP. I think it should, though. Doesn't the world look awesome, dude? If you're still there. Rebellion. Wait a minute. I 
There's something underneath here. Ooh, look at the buffalo. This is going to be an act. Yeah. Okay, cool. But how do I get there? Hmm. It's underground. Is there a hole? Oh, it's literally just. Rebellion. This is interesting. This is interesting. It's like a tunnel. Hmm. There's something over there. Lumos. Akio. Rebellio. Something underneath. Hmm. Yeah. Akio. Do I have to levitate it? Levitate. Akio. Repair. Rebellion. I should investigate. You should. Rebellion. Ah. Let me also. Akio. That's cool. Light herbalist hat. That's crazy. Whoa. So like. How do I cancel the Levioso charm? Revelio. I mean, I think that was it, right? That was interesting.
27. Very nice. Very cool. I think that was it, right? Rebellion. Lumos, Reparo, Revelio. Hmm. Interesting. That was cool. It's my first like little dungeon complete. I wish they had a marker on the map for it though, like where it would show us. This looks cool. What is this? Lumos. Levioso. Accio. Repairer. Lumos. Hmm. They were of wolves. Goblins are not permitted in this area. Hmm. Repairer. 
Looks like there's bad guys over here too. Oh yeah. Levioso! Repair her! Potato! Accio! Very cool. Looks like there's another one over here. Let me also. Akio. Just run around, man. See when I can see when I can see. What was that? Revelio. I heard something. There we go, here's some bad guys. Levioso, repair it. Potato, Accio. Levioso, Accio. Not my fault you're a deadly great spider. Another ruin. Rebellion. Ooh, bad guy. Oops. This is cool. Look at this. Another one. Uh oh. I have to squat to get in this one. Lumos. Rebellion. Repair 
here. Repair her. Lumos. Okay. I need the Depulso spell to get in here, I'm assuming. Revelio. I need the spell. Okay. Let's go to let's see what this is. Okay. Go to quests real quick. The locket's secret. Okay. Try quest locate on map. Um, that was fun. Just like a little, just like branching out there a little bit. To see what the world felt like running around. See what the generic enemies kind of feel like. I liked it. Okay, so it doesn't tell me what my reward is for this, but that's okay. Um, wait. What does that mean? Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Hufflepuff. You might be What's interested up, in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Absolutely. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Absolutely. A slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff scheme. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? I would love to. Following a Hogwarts treasure map? Count me in. Absolutely. Wonderful! Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Thanks. Any idea where to start? Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Will do. Oh, uh, okay. Hold on. Pull with a dragon. Okay, that's Transfiguration Courtyard on the back side of the dragon. That one, I have to accurate that one. Oh, that was the cool painting that I saw. Okay. Okay. So let's get to the Transfiguration Courtyard. Um, I forget how to get there. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before. Rebellion. I forget how to get there, but I'm gonna try to do it without my map. Oh shit. <sighs> That's so funny. Transfiguration Courtyard.
Transfiguration Courtyard. How do we get there? Oh, nice to see you, my young friend. Good to see you too. Is it down? I think it might be down. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this way. It's this way. I remember. For a skeleton, I'm on the right track. Rebellion. Serpentine beast window. Although Slytherins like to think the window is somehow a tribute to their house founder, it is actually a serpentine beast coiled around a tree that extends from the mouth of the legendary Green Man. It's definitely not a Slytherin. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Revelio. I've seen. I remember seeing that picture. It was the cool picture that I went like this and it like followed me. Fuck, where was it though? Was it the down? Stairwell looks promising. Stairwell looks promising. Oh, it's up. This looks like the portrait from oh. the map. Oh, where's the treasure? Akio. doorway hidden within the portrait. Wow. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Authentic headmaster's robe. Wow. Return to Arthur. Wait, wait, what did I just get though? That looks really cool. I'm just gonna wear like my natural clothes. <laughs> I look stupid as fuck. I look dumb as shit. <laughs> but this is just like my natural clothes. Like this is what I'm like naturally wearing. Hmm. Authentic historian uniform. I kind of actually want to see what that looks like. Oh wow, look at that. Oh wow, that's beautiful on the back. Look at my stupid ass. <laughs> I look so dumb.
Yeah, but I like playing games like this. Like I, um... I like wearing what I'm actually wearing, you know? Like, see how stupid I look? I look absolutely ridu ridiculous. The Dedalian keys are back! Aren't they brilliant? The Dedalian keys. Might some kind of help? Cat. Have to pet the cat. Hello, Brady. Hello. I look absolutely ridiculous, bro. Find anything yet? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky! Seems lucky! Like we had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. You sound like a Hufflepuff. Well, off. on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round these might yield anything. Very nice. I guess I'll meet with Fig now. What's up here, though? I'm curious. Revelio. <laughs> excuse me. I feel like this is gonna be Ravenclaw. Am I right? Wow. Tapestry of Barnabas the Bamry. This tapestry depicts the wizard Barnabas the Bamry foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. One can only imagine the impact on the arts he had succeeded. Oh god, he got... <laughs> Revelio. That's so funny. Oh, hello. Is that nearly head of this Nick? No. I wonder where I'm going. This has to be Ravenclaw, bro. There's no way it's not. Astronomy Tower. Food flames. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. This must be like the astronomy professor. Rebellion. Oh. Kind of want to see what this is. like a shit ton of raven claws everywhere. Peeves. <laughs> Peeves. Wow. Revelio. Oh, that was scary. I'm gonna go all the way to the top. This is This is where Dumbledore dies. No. 
Wow. Okay. Hold on. What's up, homie? Astronomy Telescope. This telescope is the finest staring, stargazing instrument of its kind, perfect for viewing the moon and the stars and anything else you might find in the night sky. Can I use it? Okay, but I wish I could use these telescopes. I wish they were interactive. That's hog's meat, obviously. Holy shit, dude. Revelio. Very cool. All right, let's um. Let's go there. Couldn't agree more. Not to mention, it exposes us to their backward way of thinking. Talking about muggleborns again? Yes, and how they shouldn't be allowed at Hogwarts. I heard one talking about sewing a sock the other day. How utterly revolting. I should I should kill you, bitch. I'm just kidding. Let me chill out. Off on another adventure, are we? What? Oh. Rebellion. Oh yeah, this was the other page that I was talking about. Professor Fig, as if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the Ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts. A fifth year, if you can believe, Professor Weasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them acclimate before a term begins. I have assigned the task to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. Professor Phineas Nigelis Black, Headmaster. That dude's a bitch. Rebellion. I'm just gonna go to his office. Open up, buddy. First things first. Ooh, crimson winter coat. This probably looks cool. Very nice. I look like an absolute dumbass. Professor Fig. Professor, I'm glad to see you. Look at my dumb ass outfit. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... <laughs> they were there because of me. Yeah, it I does. overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could second. get to me. And he would have had Sorona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. I see you. Okay, so I decided instead of like making like this cool outfit with like things that I was unlocking or like just one outfit. I decided it would be fun if I just wore whatever I was wearing that had, like, good attributes. Just kind of like, you know the memes where it's like, when you're using the gear that you have to, type thing. So that's why I look like a uh, homeless grandmother witch from the Lost and Found. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. 
Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. Right, 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 right. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. Restricted, restricted section. section, to be precise. I knew it. And a bit beyond. It's something, it is something. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Should we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. Yeah, let's fuck him up, buddy. I want you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But yeah, sir, there me some destructive spells so I can just. Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. Time for I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Hell yeah, defensive magic. Let's go. Revelio. Hmm, what is this? Well, that's probably Professor Hellcat. You bitch, what are you doing here? Professor Hellcat's assignment. I need Incendio. It's locked, so... Oh, I'm gonna learn Incendio. Let's go, baby. Ah, I'm about to light shit on fire. Find Fig's book. Okay, alright. Focus, focus, focus. Revelio. Hey, by the way, Snape boy, what are you doing here? Fucking... Levioso. Fucking loser. Report to Professor Hellcat. Alright. Time out. Let's go to quests. You must learn the fire making charm to continue the story. Alright. Disillusionment. Incendio. Okay. We lagged a little bit right there. Hey, Fig, what's good, Fig? Cat? Yes. Kitty. This is like the cat hallway. This is like my cat hallway. I stop here to play with cats. Little baby. Ow. I know, I know, I know. A new student would help me with my sad predicament. Look at me walking around like, look at me compared to everybody else, bro. I look stupid as a bitch. Revelio. Revelio. Come here, lady. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. A Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs. Blowing and bitches up. When necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Boom! It sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. Oh, of course. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. Step four. You know where to find me once you've finished. Win two rounds of crossed wands. Okay, I did one. Complete a round of spell combination practice. Okay. Seems crossed wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Oh, she wants me to participate. Not right now, bitch. My son can soul help me. Oh. Wow. Look at this. 
I'm in it, bro. I'm in it. Watch when I win this spell, I'm gonna be like, ba 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 ba. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. I'm gonna start acting strange. I guarantee it. What is that? Oh my god. Oh, not again. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice a mole? As long as we're only time for week, get the fuck I can out. plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. Please, please, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous car. Let me sort to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed us, did his Is this what I think it is, jars. bro? So I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. It's locked. To draw up a Rebellion. contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swing. Shut up, peeves. Haunted toilets. Unless in dire straits, it's probably best to avoid this particular toilet, as it is allegedly one of peeves' favorite pranking spots. Oh, great. I'll get you for this. I'll get you for this. Lavender patch scarf. Ooh, a lavender scarf. I hope it's better than what I'm wearing. Um, it is. Oh yeah. That's pretty too. I like that. Um, crossbones round two. I'm gonna finish raiding this bathroom first. Rebellion. Is that the room of requirement? Wait a minute. Revelio. Lachlan the Lanky. This statue depicts a wizard, Lachlan the Lanky, a tall, slender wizard who appears quite proud of himself for what precisely no one knows. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wait, 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 look. This is an above map of Hogwarts. That's really cool. It's very pretty. Oh, another one. Revelio. Map of Argyllshire. This map depicts Argyllshire, a region in Scotland which contains the Herb er, Ebrides, native home of the Herbedian Black Dragon. Okay, so. Accio, Lumos, Repairer. Okay, I don't have the right spell for that, obviously. Rebellion. Ooh, <laughs> look at these fuck! I swear to God, if these are... Oh, they're locked. I need level 12. Okay. Well, I'm almost level 12. Those classes look fucking stupid. Holy shit. Wow. Just everything about this game. The depth, dude. The depth. I love it. Clock Tower Courtyard. Let me go. Bugs. Ready for another round? Let me I think so. We shall see who shows up. There's no one in the school I'd be afraid to duel. I know, Sebastian. I know. Sebastian. 
Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Hello, Lucan. Here's the next noun of crosswalk. Hello, Lucan. Look is at my dumbass. Cross ones all set. Why, yes, it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready Bitch. for another round? Obviously. I'm ready. Let's get it. Let's do it. Brilliant. Show me my boat. What are you doing with a partner? Yes, Natty. Natty. Then let's get my girl. to it. The homie. Ready to get thrashed? Get fucked. Apologies in advance. You little ass kids, bro. I'm gonna fuck y'all up, bro. Break through Violet Shield with four spells like the summoning Charmacchio. Target lock target lock lets you track enemies without aiming. Oh cool. Revelio. Revelio. Fuck. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh shit. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting fucked. Oh, I, I died. All right, too much going on at one time. Calm it down. Let's retry. Oh, glad I didn't bet on you that round. Catch, go again. Yes. I'll give it another go. Glad right. to hear it. Focus up, lean forward, head in the game. Get down. All right, let's go. Get up. Get over here. Get back. Get fucked. You don't want it. Bravo. I gave it my all. You did indeed. <laughs> Look at me. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance of winning. <laughs> or at least surviving the Combat next against round. three people is hard. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. Kay. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Oh, yeah? Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Okay. Ready to have a try now? Absolutely. That would be wonderful. Be ah. sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Accio. Nice. Nicely done. Okay. That's fine, babe. I figured you were gone because you weren't typing as much. But um, 
I'm just I'd say that's enough progressing, practice. trying to level up and you stuff. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. I'm trying to see the magic wand of yours. Assignment's all finished. Did you get to see it? You never saw it? You never saw my wand? I can finally wear those stupid fucking glasses. Oh, you did? Look at that. Wow, look at me. I look like a dumb bitch. It's a joke. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Return to Professor Hellcat. Okay, I'm gonna learn an awesome. I'm gonna learn like an explosive spell. I like guess it's gonna make me like kill people. Seems I'm out of the tournament <laughs> thanks to you. <laughs> Shut up. Perhaps I should stick to potions. Maybe you should, bitch. You could have gone a bit easier on me. So good, dude. How about you just get good, kid? <laughs> Can I get you? It was a lewd joke. Ooh, was it? In Sin Ink India. <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna go learn in Ink India. <laughs> Ooh, I can do something here? I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn. Vroom, vroom, Professor Hellcat. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. Always focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. It's okay, I need to burn all this clothes anyway. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Proper wand movement. It's probably gonna be difficult. Concentrate oh, and keep it's just your a wand steady. Woo! Let's go, baby. What are these glasses? Don't worry about my glasses, bro. They gave me plus 24 offense. That's all you need to know. You've learned enough spells that you need to equip Incendio to your spell set. To do this, you need to swap to a different spell. Good one. Always use Lumos. Okay, wait, 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 okay. Incendio, damage. Its range is short and requires you to be close to the target. This spell deals significant damage and lights certain objects on fire. Enemies hit with fire-based attacks will continue to take damage for a few seconds, during which time co time collisions will result in incendiary bursts. Oh, that's really cool. To use the spell or item, you must first add it to your spell set. Hold to a sign. Revelio. Basic cast. Protego, okay. Stupefy, okay. Ancient magic throw, okay. Ancient magic, okay. Alohomora. Ah, this one. I need a little homora. Petrificus totalis. Okay. What are these glasses? I already told you. 
Um, okay. I need Accio. I need Leviosa. Uh, we'll replace Reparo. Hover over Incendio. Hold RT. And tap the corresponding face button to where you would like to replace the spell. Okay, cool. Did you solve any more puzzles? I solved like one or two. That's cool, actually. No, look at that. I solved like one or two, yeah. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put that there and I'm gonna leave Repair here. I don't really need Lumos that much. Incendio. Incendio. Getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. Leviosa. Incendio. Accio. Things ablaze is certainly cathartic, isn't it? Leviosa, Accio, Incendio. <laughs> I solved like one or two puzzles. Um, it was pretty dope. Incendio. Okay, this is lit. I just have to remember. Okay. This is important. I have to remember that Lumos is not my Y anymore. Revelio. I have to remember that. Oh, and I can just I can just change spells whenever. Like ma'am. Like just like that. Relax, you might burn some students. Serious? Leviosa, Akio, Incendio. Well, she's a she's an NPC with a quest. No way. Would you shut the fuck up, bitch? Don't saw I'm kind, so help me. I have to go to Professor Fig. We react when hit with a Vatican. Yeah, obviously. Rebellion. Cat, that means I need to say hi. Hello, pretty girl. Oh, I wonder if I can kill cats. Oh, I don't want to kill a cat. Poor baby. Incendio. <gasps> oh, good, you're alive. Thank God. What's up, Hufflepuff? Watch what you're doing. Oh, damn, you're a dick. Watch where you're going. Tell me why that says gray cat. Gray cat. Was the name of the cat but it was orange in color yeah that is strange
Yeah, I am. I am close. I'm level 12. I really want to get it to... Because I really want to, um... I really want to fly around on a broom. It'd be really cool. Ah, so, so I can, like, explore the world a little bit more than just, like, walking. Because I went for, like, a little bit of a walk. And I got kind of out there and I found, like, two little dungeons. And I did, like, some puzzles and stuff. And I killed some spiders and shit like that. But, um... I want to, like, be able to just go and just see everything, like, quickly. Like, you know what I mean? So. Like, I, I want to just, like, see things and then take my time and go through. I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Heckard. So I hear she tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. Me either. Let's go. So, Shall we proceed? Fig. How big were the spiders? Not that big. Come. Um, this bitch. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule. Your schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. Fuck that I bitch. would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. The spiders were pretty big. Pretty decent size. I'll show you when I go back out. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. Oh, come on, Fig. You're but playing hard to get. We have no choice. It would be <laughs> Give my eyeballs. to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. What if they kill you? Talk to Sebastian. Why do I need to talk to Sebastian? I don't have any quests. Secrets of the restricted section. Find Fig's book. Sebastian is gonna get me into the restricted section because he's a bad influence. I told you. This motherfucker. Alright. Um, we're gonna go talk to Sebastian in a minute, but I wanna show you the spiders. Just so you kinda know like what the enemies are like. And I also wanna see how Incendio does against them. Like, I want to see how this new spell that I got. It's the first, like, destruction spell that I got. So I'm excited to see, like, the damage that it does. I'm sure spiders are more prone to fire damage anyway. But, I mean, look at this, babe. Like, I went up to the Owlry earlier. Look at this. Can I kill a goat? Let's take a look. Incendio. Yeah, right. This goat's alive. Psst, I'm gonna lose my mind. See, like down here, you can see there's like this could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. You can see there's a little. Um, actually, I think I can get into this one now. I think I can do this one now. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Rebellion. That's it. Velvet school room. Hmm. So just like small little dungeons, like intro dungeons like that, I've just been doing. Okay, that's a little bit more appropriate than this fucking bathroom. Rebellion. That's cool. Uh. 
Levioso. Accion. Incendio. Preparo. Um, here, I'm gonna go find some spiders to show you. Oh, what is this? Incendio. Oh. Oh, it's a flute. Lower a hog's felt. Nice. Oh wow, there's a lot of chests. Revelio. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Ooh, that's nice. That's like a little um pawn holster. I'm gonna go raid these people's house. Oh, a merchant. Nice. Oh, I need a local more for that. Crimson Quidditch clubs. That goes nice. I got a new hat. Where's the money? Give me the money. That shit's underground. That's a nice looking chest. Oh, I got a nice new scarf. Ding. Revelio. Ah, fuck. Let's get the shit out of me. That's pretty. Wow. Look how pretty this is. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. That's nice. And a trader. Hello. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. Hello. I'm Jamal Semi. Hey, this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. And so, babe, what's really cool is I'm selling all this stuff, but I've unlocked it as, like, wearables. So, like... So, like, um... See you again if I go here and I go to gear, right... I can change appearance to any of the things that I've un like I've found or unlocked, right? Like I just sold this, but I can choose that appearance. You know what I mean? Like I can appear as anything that I've already previously found even though I've sold that item, which I think is really cool. Yeah, right. That's dope. That's dope. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? Let me talk to this guy real quick. What can I help you with today? I hope to see you again sometime. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? Any whispers going about the town? 
A goblin called Perget is causing a bit of a stink. His gang is attacking travelling vendors, and now business is suffering everywhere. Uh, it would be nice if someone yeah. would do something about it. Hold on one second. No one wants to pick a fight with a band of goblins, though. That's true. Which means he's free to do what he wants down in Coral Ruins. So it's cool because, like, I can loot any piece of gear, right? But like I was saying before, like, if I have a level 2 piece of gear that has, like, plus 2 defense, and I find this ugly-ass level 20 scarf that gives me, like, plus 20 defense, but I like the look and the style of the level 2, I can wear the level 20 but make it look like the level 2. And I think that is, like, something that no game has ever introduced. Like, there are obviously games that let you customize the cosmetics and stuff. But, like, you can literally take any piece of gear that you find, as long as it's within the same category, and make it look like any previous piece of gear that you ever had. Like, that to me is just so, so cool. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lord Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. And I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> it's the standard price. Oh, okay. My price is low enough already, you see. What do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, and it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> okay. My ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. That will be all. Thank you for your time. Thanks for your time, bud. All right, I'm going to go see if these are enemies, because I want to show you, like, some combat. Levioso, Accio, Incendio. That was dope. Levioso, Accio, Incendio. Protego. See, those are about the size of the spiders. Let's see if there's more over here. What is this? A few witches or wizards. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few witches and wizards. Huh. Correctly trace the history of Scotland's indigenous mazes back to their rightful source. The 15th century dark wizard known as Unun Blackwood. Born Unun Wood. To a non-magical branch of the Wood family, Yunon was misunderstood by his muggle parents and in an effort to fit in, sought solace in the family trade, hedge trimming. He could allegedly control the black thorn bushes with his mind, creating beautiful designs with ease. This both impressed and infuriated his rather intolerant family. Their resentment only worsened upon young Yunon's invitation to Hogwarts where he was sorted into Hufflepuff. It was at Hogwarts where Yunan first met one Artemnius Black, disowned by the Black family for her mother's Dallas with Artinian's muggle family. The half-blood Artinian's relationship with blood purity was a complex one. She considered herself worthy of her mother's maiden name and blamed her father for her ostracation. At the same time, she did not fault Wood for his muggle parentage, but rather considered him to an unwilling, innocent victim of muggle impurity. Wow. Incendio. What's that? What's that music? I wonder. Incendio. You're dead. Oh, holy shit! <laughs> That's funny. I gotta see bad guys over here. Incendio. 
So yeah, those are the little spiders that I was fighting earlier. Um. I'm gonna go talk to Sebastian so he can get me into the restricted section and continue with my quest. Combat is actually really cool. It's kind of hard though. You ate them already. You ate all of them? You ate all of them, babe? <laughs> you didn't leave me any? It's okay. Revelio. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? I'm not entirely certain. You ain't getting involved in my shit because you're a bad influence. Perhaps you mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. Nope. You might need me. No, I won't. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative? Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Hey, this guy's a pussy. Meet me outside the library tonight. And I am. What if we're caught? What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Peeves, the bitch. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. You're a bitch. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Thank you, Sebastian. This is the library, huh? This is the library? What's in here? Oh, wow. Oh, this is that place. Okay. He's smashing in the central hall at night. Shh. Look at you giggling. <laughs> what are you talking about? See there? Look at my stupid That's ass. That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rattle us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. 
There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Ooh. Cast it and you'll appear as sneaky, little more sneaky. than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Nice, new spell. Disillusionment, invisibility. than a job and all. Wow, look at me. Nearby adver adversaries will sense and then investigate suspicious behavior. Being caught by authority figures will result in it. Quest failure. Okay, so I can't fail. Um... Quiet, 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 quiet. It'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. Okay. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Okay. Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Hello, Homora. That's how I always used to get in. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti Alohomora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Right. I need to hide. Peeves. Peeves. Fuck Peeves. I'm finna take your shit, bitch. I'll read that later. The key. Here it is. So difficult after all. How to find that book? Revelio. Hmm. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Hmm. He might be lying to me. Hmm. Use basic cast law undetected to lure authority figures. Oh. Enemies. Okay. Ghost, don't let her see you. a ghost. Ooh. 
This is sneaky. <sighs> oh shit, this bitch is right there. Holy fuck. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Come on, come on. Should come on. be in the clear now. There's no need for us to be skulking about. Why so what is it you've been looking for? I'm still gonna do it. I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? Ew, look at that. I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Revelio. Best to avoid these books if possible. Ooh. Do not... Do not as much as their tendency to fly from one's hands as as to their this thing best to avoid these books if possible do not as much to their tendency to fly from one's hands as to their content being spectacular travel of no educational value observer. that sentence made no sense Snitch sharp scarf. Ow, my chest hurts. Interesting. Revelio. I can't get that chest because I need fucking... Regal Black. Nah, this one's way cooler. What is that? Who have we here? Sebastian Solo and his new little friend. This Out bitch. Exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, oh, no. don't you? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going no, to don't. tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Can I trust How you? How do I know you won't go to the librarian and blame this all on me? Why would I do that? Because you're a I bitch. I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. 
Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Repair. Repair her. It's a little creepy. Of course, traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. Enter the what? Time out. Rebellion. Oh, I missed one. Oh, wait. That's a big ass chest. That better be a good ass scarf, bro. Oh, it's locked. It's level 13. Damn. Well, I'm almost level 13, right? No? Rebellion. Where might this lead? Hmm. This looks cool. This is just in the library? Oh, my chest. Revelio. Surprising cards of the ready. Akio Incendio Revelio. Your gift of ancient magic. Basic attack just once, lol. Yeah, I'm fucking these dudes up. Your oh, actually, I'm kind of hurt. Whatever. Your gift of ancient magic accumulates by successfully attacking or taking damage. Successful 10 plus hit combos will begin generating ancient magic power ups. Collecting these will greatly fill your magic ancient magic meter and recover a small amount of health. Okay. When at least one segment of your ancient magic meter is full, you can cast devastating ancient magic attacks to deal massive damage and break shield charms. Tap LB and RB when you see the problem. Okay. Rebellion. Wow, this is kind of uh, gorgeous. This is in the fucking library? No way, bro. Is this a chest? 
Got granite floors. This shit's beautiful. Discover the secret. Revelio. That was nasty. I love it. I meant for the bridge. People were struggling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't give me hints. Hmm. Wait a minute. Hmm. Chest over there that I'm Rebellion. How the fuck do I get this chest? Is there shit down there? There is shit down there. What do I use to get that chest? Revelio. Makes me nervous. Yeah. Stylish casual school uniform. Ooh. Very nice. <laughs> Look like a bozo still, though. No hints. <laughs> I mean, hints when, like, it's clear that I'm struggling, but don't... No hits if I'm, like... Can I, like, run and jump? Nah, I'm not gonna try. Like, if it's obvious I'm clueless, then yes, hints, but... Woo! Goodness gracious, what is that? Well, that's to get back out. Revelio. This must be the way forward, but to where? To where is correct. Let me go, Akio. Whoa, that shit went flying, bro. Where'd it go? No. Oh shit. Interesting. Revelio.
keep my wits about Woo! me. Dangerous. Oh, some gloves. Yes, sir. And the new outfit, I don't think the new outfit's good. No. No, thank you. Oh, I see a lot of bad guys. These dudes are definitely bad guys. I tried to reload like I was playing COD. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. Rebellion. Oh. It is a book after all. I wonder if it's a spell. Getting Elder Scrolls vibes. Is it a spell? Pensive. Ah, my knee. Dumbledore. So this guy's important. Oh, she's in Hogwarts now. Good you wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad, especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. Mm. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I have never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the 
The beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham, can see them too. But we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morkanak. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Interesting. Look at my stupid ass. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Good job. I like you. Oh, Sebastian. Look at Peeves. You made him creepy. What will your uncle say? <laughs> Good job, Sebastian. Where's Sebastian? Revenue. Might as well find all I can find. Hmm. How the fuck do I get back there? Revenue. What the fuck? book that I can pull out I don't know I see
in the restricted section. During the day, what am I doing? Wait, who's this? Oh, okay, it's like during the day now. Alright. Revelio. Hmm. That was a fun little dungeon that I had to go through. <laughs> Oh, I took the book. Okay, good, good. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's. <coughs> Fig, you have a visitor. Look at my fucking guy. Here. What other gear did I get? I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? <laughs> but how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Oh. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the Ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. Thank but you. you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. I haven't taken them There's yet. There's more to magic than spell casting. That's Plenty true. to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. 
You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Revelio. Revelio. Revelio, Revelio, Revelio. Let's go. Revelio. Incendio. Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. I agree. I absolutely agree. Natty just sent you an owl post requesting to meet her in Lower Hogsfield. A Hamlet. Time for open map. Nice. This is the world map. Most of the map is covered by fog, limiting what you can see. Hamlets are small communities throughout the world. This is a hamlet. Lower Hogsfield. Hamlets provide new opportunities for vendors, flu flames, side quests, and collectibles. Nice. We will remove fog and reveal more of the map, unveiling new opportunities like hamlets, dungeons, bandit camps, and many other locations. Nice. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Nice. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see... Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, look at all these. The, the girl from Uagwadu. Forgot herbology class. Professor help cats assignment number two. Cross ones around three spell combinations. Oh, expelling almost nice. Successfully avoid enemy attacks by dodging, by dodge rolling. Cast incendio on enemies. Wagadu, Wagadu, Wagadu. That's right, Wagadu. Successfully, okay. I have a lot of quests. Look at all this, jeez. So look at the size of the world map, right? I don't know what that is? Hogsmeade. So go up here. Pretty big. What's that? I would like to be able to fly. It's time to prove your dueling medal and see if we we have a new school champion meet me at the usual place for the final round of cross wands. Also, the training dummy is still available. I want to do Professor Hellcat's quest first because she's going to teach me a new defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you and then proceed to my at me in my classroom. I think the assignments that she's given me is... Cross wands, round three, and some other stuff. So, in my classroom. Okay. 
you unlocked the flume for the hamlet. Did I? Where's the bell tower? You unlocked the flu flame for that Hamlet. I, you're right, I did. I forgot about that. I'm finished showing these kids, though. Future champion coming through. Hello, Lucan. Is the final I have to dodge roll fifteen, 15 times. Big match today. It all comes down to this: the moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Mm. Ready for a shot at glory? Sure. Absolutely. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Uh... No. I'll go it alone. By then myself. let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Get him down as soon as possible. That's one down. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, there goes my wager. Time out, time out, time out. Incendio. I'm gonna die. Incendio. Defeated? No, I killed that bitch. How is she still shooting me? I shot her like five times. They made a crop's breakfast out No, 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 no. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it again. Try again. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I'm ready now. 
very well. Good luck out there. Nah, I, I beat that. I beat that bitch's ass. You better believe I did. Oh, what the fuck? Confringo! Is that all you've got? Incendio! Leviosa! Take it! Stupid one! You're better than that! Accio! Incendio! Leviosa! Protect it! Stupid one! Confringo! Incendio! Don't shy away now! Get down! Incendio. Oh, oh, the one. Ha! Bitch! One day I'll sign up for a round. I'm the best. What a victory! You've won the tournament! You bet I did. Defensive magic. Yeah, I know. It's it's kind of hard for me to time it. I'm more of like a rolling kind of person because I'm so used to Dark Souls, you know? I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have so a gracious champion now to the victor goes the prize and so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment thank you it's been an honor you earned it you are a duelist to be reckoned with now Thanks. that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Probably. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Probably did. Who the fuck wants some yes. food? Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? Sure. That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Accio. Incendio. Nice. That's it. Akio. Incendio. Let me open. Akio. Incendio. Haha. <laughs> Good one. Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Ooh. Seriously, well done. 
Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. You better fucking... Even though you won the tournament already. I'm glad to see you haven't stopped training. Stay sharp, my friend. Absolutely. Alright. Shame it's over. I was just getting started. Lost to a new student? Hmm, I didn't see that coming. You're a pussy. Suck my dick. Uh, okay, quests. Well, I have to go to Professor Hellcat's classroom. Let's go. The best duelist won, I suppose. Get fucked. You can't be B, can you? No. I'm the best. No one's even close. What does this do? Accio. Incendio. Levioso. I like that I can be invisible now. Ooh, look. Incendio. Revelio. I like that. Incendio. Damn it. It doesn't work. If only a new student would help. Come here, lady. New defensive spell. Let's go. Look at me. <laughs> Hufflepuff. Rebellion. Bye, guys. I'm going to get my special lessons. I hope you were able to take care of everything I... Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Expelliarmus. You seem to have the right end. Let me go. Incendium. Expelliarmus. You may save your life. I see. Let me open. Accio. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Accio. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Why is Expelliarmus green? It's supposed to be red. It's red in the Incendio. Let me open. Accio. Expelliarmus. Strange. Okay. Well, I have it now. Herbology class. I need to attend herbology class taught by a professor. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to do this before I do, um... What's her name's quest? Wagadu. Might as well just go talk to this chick. Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? 
Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Oh, poor girl. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. Like me. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Hmm. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. Well, I'm friends with Natty, so if I'm friends with Natty, you'll be friends with Natty, because I'll be friends with you. I'll see what I can do. Sassy little thing. What I'd do you need to hurt? the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, you just have friends. do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Incendio! Hello, Zenobia. What did you need help with? I need someone to collect my gobstones that have been hidden in very high places all over the school. Right, 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 right. I got you, I got you, I got you. Um, not interested in your gobstones at the moment, but I'm glad that I just activated the, the quest. I'm going to go to Herbology class. Two things can be true, that's true. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. All right, hold on. Accio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Hmm. I'm probably just gonna get them naturally, not even looking, because I use Revelio enough. I use Revelio enough. Did I? I discovered this, right? Yeah. Okay. Remember, we got this one. Wow, look at that dragon up there. That dragon is moving and alive. I'm gonna talk to this chick too. Oh, what am I missing? Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me. Lumos. I'm pretty sure. Must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. 
That's just right over here. This looks like the location for oh. the painting. Let's get you back. The butterflies to the that follow my light. Don't know why. They fit in the painting. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Lenora. I found one. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. Uh, you have a knack for solving riddles. Sure. Natty's good at that too. Yeah, Natty is. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. You're welcome. Revelio. Oh, I should have seen that. I can't jump all this. That's dumb. I need a little more for that. Okay. <sighs> what was I gonna do next? What was I doing? What was I gonna do? Quests. Herbology. Right. I'm gonna put Expelliarmus. Um. greenhouse Ooh. it probably stinks Revelio. nothing up here Greenhouse tree. Situated at the center of Hogwarts greenhouse, this giant tree has a system of roots as deep, reaching, and convoluted as the school's dungeons. Wow. Very nice. Herbology flu flame. How nice. I'm just gonna collect all these fucking plants. Give me the plants. Revelio. Hmm. I think I remember I okay, so I think So I have to be invisible to search those chests. Professor Garlic, how very thoughtful of you, and to remember that strawberries are my favorite. 
They are as sweet as can be. It's no wonder muggles love them so much. Everything you cultivate seems to be f f of such high quality. From bitter root to berries, I do hope that my darling niece can learn this skill whilst under your tutelage. Lenora so adores you. As do all of your students, I'm sure. Warmest regards always, Eleanor Everly. Everly. Revelio. Hello. Oh, this fucking guy. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it Professor is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. Oh, shit, we do look forward to growing together. I'll get it. Like plants. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. Oh, fuck. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bone. Look at that cool ass plant. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. <laughs> Just like in the movies. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next Rebellion. task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. I should think Professor Garlic- Hey bro, you want me to plant a seed right now? What is- what are you talking about, my guy? Hey, my two best friends. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why, the very idea. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, yes, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. I already got it's some. up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. That's right, I did get all my supplies. I forgot about that. I've arranged your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my... Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Disney seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy. 
Make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Oh, I actually gotta wait. I gotta wait ten minutes. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now. What say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses I really don't outside care about plants. of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Well, fun. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, okay. Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Oh, perfect. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Okay, I got eight actual real-life minutes left. Oh, man. Pruitt, where you at? Come here, bitch. Oh, you're the uh, one that I fucked up in that duel. Saw you duel. on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Leander. Like I'll be bitch. showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But, your lead. Let's see if you can follow me. Oh, look at him. He's invisible too. Nice Good work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Oh, thanks. Excuse me. Incending. Jules Sebastian. And he's good. Oh, thinks he's really good. But you have I slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well. Thank you. I knew Rebellion. that Sebastian would this place myself. I mean, I would have, if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. You know that. You got it. that right, bitch. <laughs> We fight with some goddamn honor, bro. We don't be doing that tricky shit. Let me know, Pruitt. Rebellion. Ooh, who's that? Does not look friendly. I'm just trying to loot some stuff first, Pruitt. Give me a minute. Let's get invisible, bro. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Rebellion. Go on. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. No way, I got throwables? Ha <laughs> ha! That's funny as shit, dude. Look oh, at that. shit. Well, children, anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did can save her the denoming, but me. they left her honking daffodils in tatters. That's cool. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? I got a little, My like, kind of plants, grenades. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Booba tubers. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. Mm. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to I get it. To you're like a, uh, you're like a herb dealer. Take your time. I'll see you back in I class. Feel you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Rebellion. Collecting all this shit, bro. Hmm. 
This orange radish-like fruit floats upside down as it grows. I believe it can enhance one's ability to ex accept the extraordinary. Interesting. So, oh shit. Why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I got four actual minutes left on that shit. Man. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. I gotta Remarkable wait in real time for these I hope things. Too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Should I be honest with her? And good. As you do seem to be quite green fingered, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Uh, Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bad subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Will it? Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Sure. Oh, those man are really I gotta actually wait for this fucking thing. This is gonna make me lose my mind. Can I just sit on fire? We must first understand Rebellion. Professor. <laughs> oh. Wow, that was kind of cool. It went like. Whoa, whoa. What happens if I do incendio? Incendio. Ah, of course, the watering can comes to the rescue. Pot. I can't wait till I have my little room of requirement so I could just brew this shit and just have it going, you know? What's in this door? Revelio. Can I collect anything here? Oh, a chest. Money, 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 money. Flu flame. Oh, I was already here. I guess I got a minute and 58 seconds to kill. I'm gonna go try to light people on fire. Handy resource incendiary. <laughs> you talking shit, bitch? Expelliarmus isn't yellow, it's red in real life. Like, that looks like Expelliarmus. This is like yellow. Why is that shit yellow, bro? Huh. <laughs> 
Is this shit done, bro? A minute and ten seconds. Oh my god. Hey, can you hurry this? Can you make this go faster? Please. I'm gonna go to the bathroom while this finishes. I gotta pee. Plant's done. Alright. What? Nah, empty the pot. Empty the pot. Alright, we're out this bitch. That was a boring class, I'm gonna be honest Off with you. On another adventure, are we? Probably. Alright, quests. Quest, quest. Potions class. Pensieve Sentinel and Pensieve Sentry. Okay. any trades hmm. I got a cool cape legendary cape Legendary 
fairy cape. Eh. Oh wait, I gotta check one more thing. Combat, nice. Defeat five dug box, nice. Spider Slayer armor, fuck yeah. Very cool. Unlocking all types of stuff. Alright, I have to go to potions class now. So cool how I'm just like going to the class. I'm, like going to school and shit. Getting in trouble for, hun? Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Nice to see you again. Oh, cause Crescenda, Crescida. I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. <laughs> you might recall that I was trying to cast non-verbally when we met in the common room. Mm -hmm. Well, I mastered that. Good for you. And now I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. Hmm. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. Wow. That's amazing. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. It's true. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. That's true. I miss I that dude. I I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If got you could you. collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. I got you. 100%. Rebellio. Where are your books at? Oh, there's one. Oh, I got two. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Got it. Only four more to go. Rebellion. There's another one, and there's another one. Move, bitch. Akio. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were home. It was a good day. That is until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lace swing flies. Had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over. He is such a menace. Thinks he knows everything there is to know about potions. Always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convinced that if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. Our rough smokies again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now, although I still prefer meat pie. I love meat pie, bro. Rebellion. There's one. I got you, Crescinda. Accio. 
There's one more. I see it. The old librarian. One of the first librarians of Hogwarts is depicted here. Rumor is that he had no tolerance whatsoever for noisy students and and was known for his liberal use of the silencing tribe at the slightest sneeze. Uh -huh. Sounds like a funny dude. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Cressida, I have your books. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. You're I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. No problem. There you go. Mm. I'm not going to do that. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Maybe. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Accio. Let me answer. Nah, she ain't gonna give me a reward. That's all right. You too. Um, all right. I should be able to get a broom now. Yeah. I just got a new wand handle too. Um, I still like this one, bro. It's very nice. I'm level 14 now. I I don't know how I'm gonna get my broom. How do I get a broom, babe? Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogs Rebellio? This is the dungeons. Yeah. I need that Alohomora. Okay. Revelio. Luke and Brattleby must have nearly wet himself when you won every single one of that. Mr. Sharp's Aura Badge. Aura is comprised of the Ministry Magical Law. I don't know if it was level 14 specifically. I'm sure there's like a quest that you have to go on. And protect the Wizarding World from all sorts of threats, particularly those posed by dark magic. This Aura Badge belongs to Professor Sharp. It's very cool. I might steal it. Rebellion. What's up? Hey, figure out what I have to do to fly, please. Please. Because I want to fly. I want to travel. In quest. Oh, I have to sit next to fucking dick sucker over there. Why are they all Slytherins? Oh, sorry. 
Professor Sharp. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline oh, okay. and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion to heal might yourself. come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. That's good, because I need Please to learn begin. how to brew these potions. I've used them enough, especially in that dueling club. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Add a lot to that. How's it looking? I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Look at my stupid fucking costume. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. Thank you. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... Resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Time for... My parents considered... Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. Hey, Natty, what's up? Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. Fine job brewing your first Wiganweld potion. But there are many potions yet to learn. This is going to be a busy... Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. My Wiganweld potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from Jay Pippins. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. Apologies. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. This guy's a bitch. I simply need a single fooper feather. Fooper feather? As you already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. I've enough to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. Sorry, bud. I understand. I'll sort something else out. Good. I ain't helping you. Keep I have my offer already. Rebellion. Should I collect this feather for that guy? I want your opinion. 
That's a beautiful feather. Holy shit, look at that. Babe. I mean, it's there, yeah. It is there, but I don't want to get in trouble. I'm not going to do it. Your potion should not be that color, Miss McDowell. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the wicked meld potion. Oh, you're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, you're I'm Amit. I'm okay. Amit, by the way. A pleasure, truly. Amit. And I've never Habibi. seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganweld potion on their first try. Well done. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. That dude talks like a motherfucker. Should you chop the jitney okay. or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Oh good, it's only 29 seconds. This is cool. Like this crafting mechanic. <laughs> and now we add the mallow sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? I brewed the arid. This it's not potion. supposed to. Ah! Get it! Dragon dog. What happened? <laughs> What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. Loser. I brewed an Edoras potion as you asked, Professor. Glad you managed to stay on task. Not every class is so eventful. I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. He can be quite persuasive. Glad you managed to resist. You've done well today. Thank I you. confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Room of requirement. Thank you, sir. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. That was an interesting class. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. Well, for certain, you'd have helped. I'm glad I avoided trouble. Sharp certainly seemed upset with you. His bark's worse than his bite. I think deep down he respects my artistic spirit. Sharp You're may seem stupid. gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. 
Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Let me go see if I can take that feather for myself now. Oh, it's locked. Never mind. Oh, my robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration. <laughs> that bitch is funny. What's my uh, next quest? Can I fly? Can I fly yet? Okay, I'm gonna meet with Natty. Meet with Natty. Okay. Five hundred meters. Okay. These guys are hilarious. Holy shit. <laughs> Wait, I can do this now. Repairer. That was Incendium. funny. That was hilarious. Can I not repair this guy? That's the that was like the funniest thing I've seen. Cause last time I walked past her, he just bumped him, but this time he straight up just dogged his ass. That's great. Revelio. What is that? Oh, I can probably light that on fire. Incendio. Revelio. Is that the room of requirement right there? That might be the rule of requirement. Wait a minute. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Revelio. Sleeping dragon statue. The Hogwarts motto Draco Dormians that means never tickle a sleeping dragon. Fortunately, this particular sleeping dragon is made of stone and will never awaken. It may be tickled to absolutely no effect. Level 15, let's go. Revelio. Alright, the room of requirement has to be down here, right? Scarf, nice new scarf. This might be the southern common room. What is this? Revelio.
Mm hmm. Gotcha. This is cool. This little dome area. There's nothing here, though. Hmm. Interesting. This might be the southern entrance. I'm not sure. Um, I'm gonna go. Rebellion. Urn of Ashes. This particular urn is rumored to have once borne the inscription "Pioneer in Dragon Taming." Should not have started with the Hungarian horn tail. <laughs> Go to um, meet Natty. A flu flame. Rebellion. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu power. Dear Madam Kagawa, Kagawa, I'm writing to do. I'm writing to do with Professor Black's decision to cancel Quidditch. As you know, joining a professional Quidditch team is my utmost dream, and I believe my chances will now be ruined, or at least significantly thwarted. Professor Weasley insists that we must defer to the headmaster, and she encouraged me to practice on my own. I have devised my challenging, some challenging trials for myself, but it's not at all the same as practicing on the pitch. Nothing is. Please, could I ask that you speak to the headmaster or to Professor Weasley? I shall be miserable my whole life if I can't play Quidditch properly for this entire year. Thank you, Professor. As our new flying instructor, I dare say our work together at Hogwarts will be less eventful than our time. No one never knows. I shall look forward to seeing you soon. If you have any questions in the meantime, please don't hesitate to send me an one. Teach me to fly, please. I'm level 14. Hmm. Well, I found the flying instructor. Revelio. Any secret tunnel? Maybe if I just go to the Quidditch pitch, they'll be like, here's a broom. I'm just gonna go. Cancelled it. We wouldn't be looking for the blasted thing Come in the on. first place. Where are you? Teaching to fly. Saying oh, it wrong. Ugh. Rebellious. <sighs> Much better. Oh, shut up. Wait. Akio. He's ruined my entire school year. I hope a puff scheme goes up his nose and snatches his grave. Oh, sorry. She's really upset. I really want to learn how to fly, like, 
ASAP. Rebellion. There's something. That's a bathtub in a cage. Why is that bathtub in a cage? Rebellion. Caged bathtub. This bathtub has not kept has been kept behind lock and key for as long as anyone can remember. Rumor has it that the tub was enchanted to chase after students decades ago who were too obsessed with their studies to care much for personal hygiene. Ugh, gross. Incendium. Mm. Pressing X. Might be broken. <gasps> Repair. Roll. No. Okay. Hello. Is this a classroom? Hmm. I wonder what class this is. Level two lock. How nice to Beast see classroom. Hmm. That's interesting. That's um like Hagrid's job. That's very cool. I like that. Alright, let's go meet up with uh what's your name? Rebellion. Keep getting distracted with like cool, cool stuff. Hidden dungeon behind the waterfall, I doubt it. This is an open ring. Oh wait, I probably need to be up there. Okay. I go on. It's not night time. What do you mean it's not night time?
Revelio. Check in. Incendio. You serious? You can't kill animals in this game. Accio. It's crazy. Meet Natty in Lower Hogs Field. We're probably gonna go raid a bandit camp. That'd be cool. Rebellion. Hold on. I'm gonna go, um... It is good to see you, my friend. Thank you. I'm gonna go talk to the merchant real quick. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this... Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? I'm gonna sell you my stuff. What can I help you with today? See you again sometime. I got a lot of money. I got like five grand. Not sure. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. It is good to see you, my friend. You as well. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. Yes. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now <coughs> you might tell me why they were looking for you. I gotta keep it between me and Fig. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What Good. sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Let's Rookwood do it. and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to Getting get the trouble. evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right. Daddy. But how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank, Thank you, Nancy. Oh, Jinx. Be on your guard. We'll do. Um. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? <clears throat> What's going on here? They must have come this way. Think. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be sick. <clears throat> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid. Excuse me. Blah, blah, blah. There's one. Let's 
Got him. Oh shit, who's that? Oh, it's him. Oh shit. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Oh, you're a duelist. Ooh, look at you. The collections section of your field guide has been updated with a new enemy type. You may learn vulnerable, valuable insights on enemies, such as their weaknesses and certain spells. <laughs> Himself. No more waves. What on earth just happened? Rebellion. I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Did they drop stuff? Are they lootable? Wow. What's up? Are you all right? You're right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. You're welcome. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Who's Priya? You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Aww. Merlin. Gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff. Brilliant potioner. Has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Oh. Oh, sure. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know. And I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. The Trials of Merlin? I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. Oh, Merlin <laughs> he was, was a Slytherin. terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. A little bit of lore right there. That's cool. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We love can to. see what comes of our little hypothesis. I would love to. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on the Rebellion. Vines, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Hmm. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these incendiary. The flames may require sink. I'm a natural. That's beautiful. Oh, 
What a rebellion. I can hardly believe it. That's awesome. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, oh, sweet. which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. Hmm. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. You too, Nora. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of Rebellion. my notes and books. Request available. Tell Professor Fig about the map chamber. Map chamber? What? Is it locked? Sir Nicholas, our house ghost, is looking for you. You can find him near the Great Hall. Sir Nicholas. Tell me I don't have a single waypoint. Yeah. I don't have a single waypoint in the Great Hall. That's true. I thought the only time I was in a Great Hall was during the cutscene. Dobby! Lumos. Darby. What are you doing, buddy? Levioso. Accio. Incendio. I'm sorry, buddy. I just wanted to see oh, what happened. Another adventure, are we? There's something else, too. A dash of powdered back spleen, I think.
What is that? What is that over there? Wait, hold on. Go to the map. Uh, oh, it's the waypoint, my man. What are you up to now? Levioso. Accio. This goes where the boathouse. I might as well get the boat uh, boathouse. Flu flame. Snape died. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, the OG. Staircase, bro. Quest can be tracked in the quest log. I know that. I'm aware, bud. Oh. It's a phoenix. Rebellion. Leviosa. Let's go to the Great Hall. Nearly had a snick. I wonder if they use the same voice actor. I doubt it. Oh wait, there's a chest. Rebellion.
Great Hall ceiling. The ceiling of the Great Hall has been bewitched to mimic the sky above the castle. Owl Lectern. This enchanted lectern serves as the spot for which the great headmaster, head ma head, head mistress or headmasters of Hogwarts, as well as Professor Black, address the school. Revelio. Any more? Chest. Nice. Oh, food flame. You can't imagine how inconvenient that <gasps> Another one. Ooh, we found another one. Okay. Question mark is this first one. Okay, so seven. Nine. 16. 16 to 24 is... Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Spider. Fourteen. Owl. No, eleven. Owl. It's dragon. <laughs> Rebellion. Ooh, I got a little sphere. And then what is this? I got a nice vest. Let's go. Incendio. Lumos. Hmm. That means there must be a butterfly over here somewhere. I think it's over there. These large ornate house, gla house glass containing rubies, diamonds, sapphires, and emeralds are containing rubies, diamonds, sapphires, and emeralds. Oh, kind of cool. Are enchanted to keep count of the house points for Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, and Gryffindor. Who's winning? Who's winning? Hufflepuff's got a good amount, and Gryffindor just has a little bit. Um, Rebellion. I was gonna say the last one here, right? The Hogwarts art of architect. The Hogwarts architect shown here, surrounded by the four house mascots, 
designed and oversaw the construction of Hogwarts Castle alongside founder Renoa Ravenclaw, who is, who is credited with creating its ever-changing floor plan. I'll be right there, Nick. There's another thing that I have to do. Uh, question mark. Where's the double question mark? Revelio. Is it down there? It's all the way down there. Off on another adventure, are we? All right. Double question mark is down there. Four goat. So that means question mark is the seal. Because it's zero. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, that's five. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. It's crab. Do you like that? That was a nice little jump. Rebellion. First try again. Let's go, baby. I'm the greatest. Nice glasses. Ruined staircase. Nice. Finally take these fucking weirdos off. There you go, now I look fucking normal for once. <laughs> Finally. Alright, let's go talk to Nick. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Wait, we'll do. how do you know about the book? We'll walk through and me like that. It's missing pages. Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. Okay. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take. If you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Sure. Lumos. Hmm. A small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. Oh, roast beef. Revelio. I beg your pardon. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. I think this is where the Hufflepuff. So kind of yeah, this is where Hufflepuff. I shall explain everything else. Um, in houses. Revelio. Pear portrait. Shout out to all the pears. If one tickles the pear, what? If one tickles the pear in this still life painting of a bowl of fruit, it will giggle before turning into a doorknob to our entry to Hogwarts kitchen. Mm, that's interesting. Ah, here we are. 
Tickle the pear and head on in. This is awful. Did you say tickle the pear? Mm, I'm already imagining the sweet aroma of Rovellios. <laughs> Dobbies in the kitchen. What could they want? Never will understand. Found themselves a bit peckish, likely. Look at all the dobbies. Glorious in here. Hmm. Here's some beef, but it's not rotten. I best keep looking. That one looks dope. Wait. That one's way cooler. So this is what the this is what the kitchen looks like. Ugh, there's a disgusting smell. I must be getting close. Oh, a student. Thinky. What a treat! What can Thinky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit. Sounds lovely, but. What I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah, Mick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no. Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. Food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gantt's law of elemental transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. Cool. Are there any restrictions as to what you can make here? Think he supposes not. However, think he has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Mm. Her quince pie has always been a favorite, but the new fangled Arbro Smokies are becoming popular as well. Is it all right for students to wander into the kitchens? Well, since you asked, students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens, but Finky doesn't mind. There's nothing that lifts Finky's spirits more than the company of students. We so rarely get visitors, Ew. and we have plenty it's of Mila. treats. Come back any time you please. It was nice to meet you. It's Darby. Thank you for the beef. Happy Let's to know. help. To meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's mm, regards. Rebellion. I've gained a new appreciation for breakfast. House of Living Quarters. Ever practical and creative, the Hogwarts elves have created a costly village. What do you mean? What do I mean? Like home for themselves among these barrels and awkward kitchens of course one cannot presume to know what they're really like inside as house elves have an extraordinary magic of their own they do they're just little they're just little dobbies running around That's really cool. Oh shit. Whoa! Look at that. So they place it here, and then what they do is it goes like up into the Great Hall. That's really cool. That hobbit looks like an old bath ball sack. Ew. 
No, I look like Mila. Ooh, look at that hat. That's a nice looking hat. That's just a little Mila. It's a little Dobby. Little Dobby boy. Rebellion. You know what? You know what's funny? Look at this. Um, all right, over here. Think he keeps all us house elves in line here in the kitchen? Right. You think they're gross? Guess who lives right next to him? You see all the. See all the, the little badgers? This is the Hufflepuff common room entrance. And you live in the kitchens with the little ball sacks. You do have a cool common room though. Alright, let's go, Nick. Ah, you're back! No trouble, I take it. Not at all. Oh, Fiend haha. Sends her yeah. regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind Alpha for Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Pod. Y'all's common room is pretty dope, step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? Very well, sounds intriguing. The roast beef wasn't for you? I thought the rotten roast beef was for you. It is, uh, in a way. You see, I've been trying to gain access to the hunt for quite some time. But you're nearly headless. Offering the beef to Patrick may help me in that regard. While, of course, also helping you. <coughs> hmm, excuse me. What am I supposed to do when we meet the hunt? Allow me to do the talking. They can be a rather supercilious lot. I'm certain they'll be welcoming to you, however. In no small part due to the rotten roast beef you will come bearing. Is the Headless Hunt dangerous? Oh, the Headless Hunt wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone a student. Just a group of fun-loving Headless Ghosts. Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this Headless Hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. Baby, you want to know something cool? My skipped frames is still at 1596. Out of one million six hundred and seventy-nine thousand six hundred and fifty. Oi, Nesta, look who's here! What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Ah, oh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Oh, uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Uh, Me, bitch. We brought you a the chosen one. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why? Here he is now. What a shame. 
without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you jazz. <laughs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. It's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut, tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Mm -hmm. Now, please, follow me <laughs> and I shall help you find your way out. Poor Nick. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. Revelio. Hmm. Bridge. Okay, that's cool. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Accio! Let me also! Incendio! You can't feel shit. What's in here? Treasure map. Floating candles. Oh, interesting. Follow the headless hunt scheme. Revelio. Who will be next to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins? Hide and seek. Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Very not well. just once, but five times. Five times? Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? I'm down. Why are you using Jackdaw's head for this game? Well, if you must know, Jackdaw's our newest member, so we like to put him through his paces. Oh, I see. Or well, hazing. Please, could you explain the rules again? Find his head amongst the pumpkins five times. Use your wand. I cannot be more specific than that. How did you happen to become a member of the Headless Hunt? I was executed alongside some fellow mutineers. We didn't like the way things were being run in our county, so we took matters into our own hands. Treason is such a strong word, but that's what we were found guilty of. Things would have turned out much better if they let me be in charge. Mm. If that's what Let's I go. need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvellous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Very well. Begin! Rebellion. Cast away until you've discovered already. <laughs> Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide it. Whatever you say, Dumfrey, this is not my finest moment. <laughs> Ghosts 
that I should slot away to my heart's content. Rebellion. It's on the other side. Shaking around a lot. I said I would be the one to clean up this mess. Oh, him. Well done. Of course, having a wand served you well. Yeah, I did. I believe congratulations are in order. Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jack Dor here. Hmm? Hey, you earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still mouldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head. And I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great. You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. What will I find in the cave? Aside from my mortal remains, if I remember correctly, some treasures, a magical bridge. But what kind of an adventure would it be if I spoiled the surprises for you? Hmm. Did someone in the cave cut off your head? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, when you visit, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I found them after he ran riot through the library. Doubt he even noticed they were gone. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. Yes, sir. See you there. <laughs> I'm assuming the forest is this way, right? Rebellion. Cool. 
I need um I need to get this real quick. This little book. Greetings. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. Be like a herbology bait lady. <sighs> Itch. Okay. Might as well go solve this pain too. Oh, shit. Lumos. Right by that little thing. Rebellion. I would love a broom. Oh, this is like a ravine. Cat, gotta pet the cat. Hello, pretty girl. Psst, 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 psst. Oh. Does it get any more? Lumos. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. Very good. How is it over there and it's telling me to go this way? Hmm. It's gonna follow the map. Rebellion. Cat, I already pet you. 
Who lived here, I wonder? I want to try this. This is utter nonsense. I've never heard such rubbish in all my life. Perhaps I shall scout around Fellcroft for something. <laughs> it's no Dallas. The beast is safe now. Revelio. Hmm. I got a cool blazer. I did a little stealth uh, thing right there. Yeah. Rebellion. Bad guys over here? I guess not. For you. Oh shit. Time out, time out, time out, time out. It's better on us. Oops. It isn't Nora Treadwell's precious little guard. Let me say, Akio. You made one. Nice. Let me say, Akio. Expelliarmus, incendio. No. Let me open. Akia. Incendio. Expelliarmus. No. Fuck you. Pussies. You're absolutely destroyed. It's like a poacher camp up here. Okay. This is like an actual thing. Where did I set my traps? The lower Hoxfield or upper Hoxfield? Expelliarmus! Oh, what? Levioso! Accio! Potato! Fuck else wants it, huh? Bitches. Revelio. Betting on the dragon fights was the best decision I've made. Collection <laughs> updated, scorching something. That's cool. They're up there. How do I get up there? Incendio. Drink your drink too, bitch. That's a nice robe. Look at that.
Revelio. to a chicken. Ooh, what's that? It's a big paw. Ooh. Um, kind of makes me nervous. I'm going to go take care of these guys over here first. Rebellion. Look at that stag. Beautiful stag. Oh, it's just a spider. Levioso, Accio, Incendio, Expelliarmus, Revelio. Like Revelio. Or something. Nah, it's not. This down here is though, real quick. Accio. Incendio. I might die here. I swear, none of you would have a good idea. Incendio. Accio. Expelliarmus. What's that? I guess I can. What is this? Moon calf. Hmm. I guess I haven't like unlocked this yet or something. Yeah, I need I need a little more to let these guys out anyway. Levioso, Accio, Expelliant, Incendio. One less poacher in the wizarding world. Yeah, bitch. Accio. Incendio. Accio. Too hard. Levioso, incendio. If I have so much of the spice on me, do me sorry! Levioso, Akia, Expelliarmus, Protego, Incendio. <laughs> Shoot a spell. Let me 
is your best friend. No! I'm spending all this. Instant butter. Get out of me! No. It's Rebellion. Around the forest, killing people. Levioso, Akio, incendio. Protego, incendio. Eight legs is simply too many. I agree. There's a butterfly over here. I wonder what that is. Rebellion. Hmm. Incendium. Follow the butterflies? Hmm. Well, I gotta go meet uh, nearly had his nick. Or whatever his name is, so. Rebellion. Oh, I can do like Akio. Let me also expel the office. Rebellion. Let me also Akio. Incendio. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Marlin. Oh. Revelio. <laughs> Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. Rebellion. Incendio. Protego. Incendio. It's like timed. Okay. Incendio. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. Very cool. Incendio. 
Ugh. Shame you're so foul. Incendio. Incendio! Protego! Levioso! Accio! Levioso! Accio! Incendio! Protego! Incendio. Let me go, sir. Akio. Incendio. Protego. Let me go, sir. Akio. Incendio. Expelliant. Incendio. Let it. Centaurs, I come in peace, my friends. Hover skin. Hi, cutie. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Yeah. Dude's commander would be upset. Oh, bitch. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. You're welcome. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten what? Protego! Incendio! There's another mega up here. Levioso! Accio! Expelliant! Incendio!
Revelio. Oh, look at all this. Incendio. Do I get back up? No, I ain't going down that yet. Uh uh. Mm. Fuck it. Rebellion. Incendio. Akio. Oh shit. Levioso, Akio. Incendio. Rebellion. Let me use them. Akio. Incendio. Mm. Akio. Let me use them. Akio. Do I get out of here? Let me open. I'm stuck. Shit. Incendio. Rebellion. Fuck yeah. Revelio. Clever magic. Right, let's get back on back on course. Seems you're in for an attack every time you leave the castle. Yeah, yeah. I'm always ready to uh, fight some bad guys. As good as my word. 
We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Just like a Gryffindor to brave the Forbidden Forest in pursuit of adventure. Yes, well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Let's do it. Aside from the birdbath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Because he came from this direction. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Sounds Simply good. stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Jesus. Oh wow, now that's a spider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. Um... Yeah. I also don't have any heals. Heels. Music's intense. Time out, time out. Can I can I brew heels? Can I like make them on the fly? Stench of the dead. Oh. Can I make a healing potion? Like a quick a quick heal potion. I guess I can't. Shit, I'm about to get fucked. Can't wear them. I don't have heals, bro. Okay, my health gradually re. Okay, all right, good. Good, 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 good. We're gonna be upset if they didn't. Nothing to do now but keep going. Incendio.
the waterfall. For a thief, Jack will surprise me as good as his word. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. Yeah, they're beautiful. Wow, look at that. Hmm. There it is. Just as Jackdaw described. Incendio. Incendio. This is where? I've where always said this. It's probably like. Um... the mind. I am hungry. I'm going to get off and eat in a little bit. Um, once I'm done with this part of the mission, I think. Intramuros. Rebellion. <laughs> Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. <laughs> 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 No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack has led me. Jack Dawes tomb. Big this place is. Rebellion. Uh. Incendio. Just to make sure they're dead. Yeah. Huh, what is this? Well, cocoons. Wow, look at that. These rooms must have something to do with opening this door. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Look at you bitches trying to be sneaky. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. Oh god. Levioso! Accio! Incendio! Potato! Stupid! Ow. Let 
Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Hey, hey, hey. Gross. Wow, look at that chest. Ruby Chinese scarf. Nice. See how it is. Oh, it's locked to level 18, damn. Looks like the direction I need to go. Let me also Akio incendio. Protego. Akio incendio. Another puzzle. Oh no, this is could this, this. So can I. This is the way I'm supposed to go. So I'm gonna go back over here first. Hmm? I wonder if I can move that platform somehow. Rebellion. Love you also. things that's odd i'd have thought jackdaw right. would have been interested in this loop but... my gear is full no let's 
carve. Sucks that I can't sell this stuff, but... I'll keep the purple and the gold stuff, but blue stuff I'll just get rid of. You've probably been out the castle for days. Nobody came looking for you. Nah. Nah. I don't think so. I think I'll be alright. Revelio. Chest right there. Realistically speaking, yeah. Chesters. You bitches. Levios. Accio. Expelliarmus. That shit's whack. They're gonna go like, ah! Try to scare me. Ain't gonna work. Nasty spiders. Yeah. Is this the right way? Right. Okay, I came through this door, right? It was the right way. Revelio. Here's that chest. It's a good thing Jack Daw didn't fall down there. Accio. Accio. That kind of scared me. I didn't know if I was going to actually do the animation. An untouched chest. Tarotor wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Accio! Re 
Trevelio. Oh. Shit, what are you doing? Sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. Yeah, I bet you, I bet you bitches is creeping too. Incendio. I can't come here. That's that dead spider scared me. Alright, I came this way already, right? Rebellion. Incendio. No way I didn't come this That's way. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. I definitely came this way. Yeah. Rebellion. Akio. That's where that Dark Souls rolling comes into play, bro. I'm rolling around like a motherfucker. Okay, alright. So that's the little hidey hole that I just Rebellion. Hmm. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? That's scary. Akio. Not a headless skeleton in sight. 
But nice. I may as well help myself to this. Revelio. There's shit down there too. Looks like progress to the left, but I'm gonna do this for right now. These books. Touched chest. Teratol wasn't very thorough in I got some cool goggles, baby. Let's go. Hell yeah. I finish this cave, I'm gonna go eat and get off. I, I'm, my stomach is eating itself. Rebellion. I'm starving. Okay, what's the right direction? Not that way. Oh, down. Oh, what? There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. That's probably a big monster I gotta fight right here. I see y'all motherfuckers hiding. More spiders. He's calm for the hell of you, Jack. Where they go? Incendio. Levioso. Akio. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Stupid. Incendio. Oh, fuck. I'm 
glad that the jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? I need to look around for the symbol. I just hit all three. Oh, my robes and my hat finally match, thank god. I must be getting closer to Jackdaw's oh, these guys are those pages. Tough. Rebellion! That's Jackdaw's remains right there. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Oh god. Is there something beyond this room? Come on then. Come on then. First boss of the game? Come on. Oh god. To get flying class, you have to finish Jackdaw's quest and then go back to the castle and sleep. Okay. I haven't slept one time, so I don't like. I didn't know it was a mechanic. I've seen this before. Gringotts and the restricted section. Wow. Oh, look, there's more. Where am I? I have no idea, buddy. Oh, it's sealed. Oh no, the room's starting to flood. Oh. 
This is like my. What sort of magic is this? This is like my worst nightmare. I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Revelio. Uh -huh. Oh god. So much detail, I know. It's the four guys. Can it be? Yes, it is. It's me. Wait, hold on. What's upstairs? Rebellion. I'm guessing that's my way out. Okay. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention, and might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access Expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. Mm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return come back here? with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map, map chamber? chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present. Except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Mm. I'll bring the book here. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. I'll come back and do this shit. Right. Your connection to the ancient magic has unlocked talents. You will receive one talent point each time you increase your wizarding level. You have new talent points to spend. Nice. Wait, I should have like 18... Yeah, 18 talent points. You've earned talent points starting at level 5. You may spend these talent points as you wish to enhance your spells to increase your combat prowess, powers, stealth, and more. Choose wisely. Talent points may be spent once, so the number of talents you require are limited. Return here often to see what... Okay. Wow, look at that. Mm. That's very cool. Ancient magic throw. Oh, yeah, 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 that's cool. Spell knowledge. 
A new spell set is added. Yes, I want that. I also want um this. I don't really do a lot of stealth, so I'll leave that blank for now. Stunning curse. Stupefy has the same effect as a curse on enemies. Curse enemies take increased damage. Spelling almost has the same effect as a curse on enemies. Curse enemies take increased damage. Damage to a curse target affects damage to all curse targets. Okay, spells. We'll do this one. We'll do this one. And we'll do this one. I don't have Confrigo. I don't have Depulso, and I don't have Defendo. I don't have Bombarda. I don't have Descendo. I don't have Glacius, and I don't have Transformation. Increase the range of Rebellio. Protego expertise. I should do these first before I do those. I'll do this dash one. I'll do that one. I'll do all of these just because this is like my core. Okay. Room requirement. I haven't I haven't been in the room requirement. the range of Rosalio. There we go. Okay. So I think that's good. I think that's really good. Very cool. Um, I will bring the book back. Um, you stay there. Rosalio. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Accio. Leviosa. I'll move and I'll be back. Leave this place. Very cool. So he basically just said, hey, come back later. Because you didn't bring what you were supposed to. And I don't really have a choice, which sucks. But I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? book? You can't imagine. The map chamber? Oh wow, cool. I have a direct fast travel to the map chamber. This is, this is the room that I found. I found this little dome area before. I thought it was the Slytherin common room, but it's, it's the map chamber. Okay. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. I need a little more. 
Completed quest Jackdaw's Rest. You need to learn the Pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Very well. See, now my Revelio charm goes super far. That's nice. I like that. Okay, cool. Lumos. Didn't used to be there. You have three different configuration you can switch to on your spells. Accio. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, um, I just unlocked like the ability to have like a second and a third set of spells. Like once I unlock everything, you know what I mean? Like, this is going to be, like, my main, like, attack. And then I can have, like, this one for, like... Vanishing. Shit like that. So like, I can like, I can do this one as my offensive, and then it's like, oh shit, I need to get into the light. Lumos. Repero. Repero. Oh no wait, I gotta be, I gotta be sneaky. All right, now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna go back to my offensive, and then it's like, ah, you know. There's a lot of like outplayability right there. It's kind of fun. Flying class. I'm gonna look at my gear, right? What is that? Unidentified back item. Take this to the room requirement to reveal its qualities. That's cool. Oh man. Storage for gear, let's go.
cool. So I have these now, right? I need, oh, I need nasal fur, okay. So in order for me to, upper skin, upper skin fur. So in order for me to a, a, equip these, I need like ingredients. Stench of the dead. Mm. Very cool. Oh, oh, a little beast that I've discovered. That's good. I haven't even gotten to the room of requirement yet. Like, holy shit. All right, so my next quests, obviously we're doing flying class because I need to get a broom and I need to be able to just like explore without having to take my time and run from place to place or fast travel. Fast traveling for me isn't fun just because you don't get to take the world in and walking is too slow. So it's like a happy medium of fast, but you get to experience everything. Um, and then I could probably do these two side quests, but when we come back, flying class 100% is what we're going to be doing. So, make sure I'm tracking that. Locate on map. You know, I might, I might even, I'm going to fast travel to it, just because. We're fast traveling to it, just so we know exactly what we're doing when we get back. No way fans or bots. Get a broom. Nimbus 2000. Firebolt, whatever. Okay. <laughs> That's so cool. I'm not doing it now. I'm doing it later. That's what I told myself. Outpost. I don't have any new messages, do I? Sir Nicholas, I have to go to my free. Okay, yeah. I already talked to you. I already did that. I already did this. I already did this. And you need to learn to pulse so the banishing charm used for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete your corner. Okay. Alright. That's my next quest as well, to do his shit. I'm gonna save the game. Alright, that being said, appreciate y'all coming out.